Hello, friends! Welcome to another episode of High Rollers Dungeons & Dragons, the D&D show here over on twitch.tv forward slash Shugscast and twitch.tv forward slash High Rollers d and I am your Dungeon Master for today. Well, actually, for every day, every time that we do this. I don't know why I say it that way. <laughs> it's just a thing that people say, and I don't know why. <laughs> I'm your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes. And joining me, my friends. Hello, Hello. Hello. friends! Uh, oh, hi there. Hello. We have friend. Kim, Trot, Katie... Tom and Rihanna, oh. uh, all joining us this week. Um, not as much to go through before we crack on with the episode today. Um, but the first thing of which is to say a big thank you to our regular recurring sponsor, D and D Beyond. Chris Trot. Oh yeah. Take it away. Oh yeah. Take oh yeah. Away. Chris Trot. It's me, oh. everybody. Oh, let me remove that Hello. from Mark's face. There you go, Mark. Oh, thanks. Just want everyone to be near me right now, just so I can do these sponsors together. Uh, <laughs> so tell me, audience, do you like mythical Greek-inspired landscapes? Yes. Oh, I have a... Yeah. Yeah. Like this? Wow! Yay! Wow. My favorite. Yeah. Do you like uh, these kind of landscapes that were once reigned by tyrannical archon deities, like this? Yeah. 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 yeah! Who doesn't like a Hydra? No! Wait, not what, Hydra! That double negative? And Minotaurs? I Woo! like them! Minotaurs! I feel like those. Well, Wizards of the Coast have got you down to a T because there's a brand what? new campaign source book that's based on a Magic huh? the Gathering uh, plane called Theron, I believe it's called. Is that right? Oh, wow. wow. My nose disappeared. Wow. Then, so Trot looks like sweet. he's going to curse me. Look. He's, he's, he's <laughs> like just looming over my head. Like, Auto <laughs> conclusion for one of the two. Um, so, a brand new campaign source book made by Wizards of the Coast called Mythic Odysseys of Theros. And you can pre order it. It's coming Theros. out June 2nd, which is only mm -hmm. a couple days away. So, you Always. can clash with the gods of Theros, which is the world's most popular role play oh. game, meets the world's most popular trading card game. It's a clash of. Two worlds and two different franchises melding together. Very popular. So you can choose a uh, supernatural gift that sets you on the path of destiny, align yourself with one of Theros's 15 gods, and carve a tale of odysseys and ordeals across the domains of mortal gods and the dead. Apparently you get new stuff. Oh. So there's like... Hold on, let me have a look on. Let me bring it, this up. This, yeah, let me bring this up. Let me let me just get the website up. I'll just I'll just read from the website. Hang on a minute. <laughs> well, let me show you the website. That's what I was going to do, Mark. But the, you know, fair enough. That's you can Theros, that not Theron. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Theros. There it is. So you get Hooray! some uh, if you order it on D and D Beyond, which is why we're here, right? Uh, you oh, get yeah. some high quality exclusive. You get six of them. Character sheet backgrounds created from the art in the book. So you nice. can decorate your new character sheets when you play this campaign if you pre-order it through D&D Beyond. So that's a, a good reason to do it. Obviously, D&D Beyond is the best way to play D&D 5th Edition using digital uh, means. The character sheets are incredible. We use them all the time on High Rollers. So please check them out and uh, pre-order Theros, the Theros. Mythic Odysseys. If you um, no. if you check it out before, this is basically in the very similar vein to the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica book. So if you check that out, uh, it's in a very similar vein where it is a world from Magic the Gathering made into a D&D world campaign. But that doesn't mean you have to play it in that way. Like, I often use these books and just take stuff in it to put into my homebrew games. Like, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can take from it. I know yeah. that the, the Odysseys of Theros, um, they've introduced a new mythic action for, like, super legendary monsters. Um, there's going to be a bunch of cool new magic items, um, cool new, new subclasses for like bards, for example. Classes, yeah. Yep. Um, Lots of so good just shit. take. Ooh. You don't. You don't have to get the book and be like, oh well, I don't play Magic the Gathering. I'm not going to care about the setting or whatever. You don't have to buy it for that. You could buy it and just take all the stuff out of it and put it in your own game, and then it's cool, and then all the work's done for you. Just do that. There it uh, is. Like minotaurs and stuff. Thanks, Chris Trump. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very good. Amazing. Uh, Kim, do you want to tell us about a little stream you're doing this week and some stuff coming to Idle Champions? 
Yeah, so uh, if you missed it last week, Nova is coming to Idol Champions. Hooray! Um, it's going to be happening uh, this coming week. So I, I think tentatively the 3rd of June. Uh, hopefully no like issues with that, but hopefully uh, 3rd of June. And so myself, Katie and Ree will be doing a cheeky little uh, Idol Champions stream on uh, Wednesday about, I think, 6.30? 6.30? Yeah. Um, but yeah, just uh, keep an eye on ish. our yeah High Rollers D and D Twitter account because uh, we'll be doing that. And then I think I'm doing like an interview with the uh, Idol Champs guys. And oh yeah, they made Good a pancake of Nova's face last week, so that was cool. And I really yeah. like the cool. pancake. They did, yeah. yeah. They love their pancakes. I want them. They're I want them all. It's like it's mesmerizing to watch them and try yeah. and figure out who it is. It's. I, it's I sat. I, they did a, an Ayla one like a couple of weeks ago, and I just sat for the rest of the stream, just like, oh, pancake. Yeah. I didn't oh, even know Ayla. pancake <laughs> art was a thing. Like pancake art, man. It's cool. Was, yeah. I think they, uh, they were doing it. They did it live while we were at D and D live, didn't they? They had like the the pancake oh. fella making the the pancakes, making their cool. idol champs. Making Very cool. Yeah. Um, and again, Idol Champions have always been super good to us. They've been super good friends of ours. So go and check it out. And uh, don't forget, if you get Nova in your team, if you've already got Quill and Sentry and Ayla, everybody works together and it makes everybody better. So get yes. everyone Synergy. working. Synergy. Uh, Synergy. Synergy. Unlike us in the actual campaign. Wait, what? <laughs> what? what? Da, 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 da. Boom. Wow. Dun, dun. Nice. Uh, <laughs> talking to Dun Dun. Is there... Anything else? I don't know if there's anything else like announcement wise and stuff. Um, uh, in no. that case, folks, just come and join us for some very much needed escapism. Let's play some Dunduns. Welcome back to Erois. Our party of heroes have found themselves transported out into the plains and currently seek to return home to their world of Erois. Having hired the services of Captain Thalia Wispwind and her astral ship, the Twin Star Longbow, the group have begun the journey back, but many opportunities have arisen since arriving in the plains. A rebellious group of Celestials called the Wings of Ishtar have proposed a daring raid against one of Kallus Valkyrian's warships, and Captain Thalia herself has offered them a chance to win a number of wishes in a fiendish game as part of the payment for her transportation. Aboard the ship, uh, the group have gotten to know the eclectic crew and discuss their plans before they enter the interplanar space called the Styx slipstream between the planes that connects the worlds together. Sadly, Captain Thalia's warnings about pirates and criminals comes true, and the party are attacked by small raider ships. Leaping into various positions, they aid the crew in fending off the attack, but their victory is short-lived as the true threat, an illithid nautiloid, emerges into the slip space and the battle continues. Um... So we to set the scene, uh, what kind of happened at the very last, the the very ending of last week's game? Um, several large, deep purple tentacles press through a breach in the slip space, pulling apart the seams of the demi plane as if they were curtains. The strange blue purple haze of the astral sea seeps through as the gap widens, and an enormous steel and violet thing emerges. Like a giant mollusk with a curved spiral shell on its back, numerous spines and tendrils hanging loose off its body. 
The giant Mind Flayer ship emerges almost parallel to the Twin Star, and you can see dozens of stunted creatures in iron suits uh, ready weapons and prepare the various tentacles and uh, devices aboard. Uh, the huge tentacles at the front of the mollusk stretch out, hungrily searching for the ship to snatch onto. Uh, and that is where we're going to begin. I can also, I will show you what this uh, bizarre ship looks like. Uh, imagine this is more purple and black. Uh, so if you switch on a draw twin. Oh, like a space nail. It's yeah. like a big space nail, but it has like all sort of, uh, yeah, these kind of um, sails and tendrils and all sorts of weird bits sticking out of it. Um, this is a bit Very of an cool. older design, but yeah, Very this is retro. kind of vibe. Very yeah. vibe. This is, this, is, this is OG Spelljammer art, so it's a little bit more <laughs> 60, uh, 70s, 80s than this, the it's current really one cool. you're facing looks like. Um, but yeah, that is what you see emerge behind you. Uh, as a rundown, you are currently all aboard the Twin Star Longbow, Thalia's ship, and I we have like a little interior layout. Um, so we currently have Quill, the co-pilot, who is sat next to Thalia up in the cockpit, um, mm -hmm. uh, who has taken on those uh, things. Uh, Thalia and her imp navigator, Bim, uh, are with you in the cockpit, Quill. Lucius, I believe, was sat on the floor in the middle of the main lounge, not really sure what to do with himself. Um, I tried around helping. And didn't go super well. Um, so he is now currently just sort of sat in the lounge, uh, hoping that everything goes in. And across, uh, just across the lounge, curled up near the entrance to the cockpit, is a very large white cat. Um, uh, sort of leonine or lion-sized and, and uh, with similar features, um, but very white and very fluffy. Uh, and he's it's called a Big, Big Cat. cat. Big cat. Big cat. Uh, Ayla is currently in one of the weapon turrets. Uh, there are these two small turrets that have arcane weapons attached to them. Um, and Ayla is currently in one. And Lucius had uh, met uh, Kyrie, who appears to be some sort of... Uh, who is a harpy. A uh, young harpy girl who is in the other. Another member of Thalia's crew. And then Sentry and Nova, you guys are currently in the sort of like very cramped small engineering section of the uh, Twin Star itself. Um, at the end of the, the main sort of section, like the crew living section, I guess it would be called. Um, and you and Sentry are down in there. Uh, the enemy ship is about 60 feet, uh, astral feet, when, you know, this is now we are in astral space. Just put the word astral in front of stuff. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. All functions basically the same. Um, the enemy is, yeah, about 60 feet away from you. Uh, I have put a reminder of how many hit points the Twin Star has. Um, and the current status of the shields, which uh, Quill has control over. Um, yes. And with that, uh, we are going to roll initiative. We're going to do a brand new initiative because this is basically a brand new combat. So nice. uh, I've already done mine. Uh, so you guys can do yours. Very well. Okay. I'm not uh, 22 quick. for me. 22 for Nova. Sentry with the Nice. Total? That's an 8 total. At 20. Okay. Uh, what's the total, Katie? Is that 24? 25. 25. Oh, yeah, because you've got plus 5 decks then. Uh, yep, cool. Lucius. And six. then a 6 for Lucius. Oh, dear. And I've got oh, 8. Dear. Yeah, I've got your 8, don't worry. I got it. Oh, uh, okay. 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 So, this ship emerges. It, it, it you When you first entered the sticks, um, you thought they were explaining that you have to find breach points to kind of enter into this space. And this huge nautiloid ship, which is much larger than the Twin Star, uh, yeah, erupts into the space beside you, um, about 60, 60 feet away. Um, and you can already see its giant tentacles. The tentacles are about 20 feet long, and they are trying to stretch out. They're stretching out in front of the ship, uh, kind of reaching around. Sometimes they find pieces of debris, which they throw out of the way, um, but they are trying to find or gra grip onto the ship uh, which is just a little bit out of its range uh, as it currently stands. Uh, and the first person to react to all of this is Ayla. Hello. What would you like to do? Um, I will shoot um, because yep. it's currently in range. So It is. Big shot. Uh, so 
for those joining us, uh, there's like we I took the Infernal War Machine rules from Avernus and we've kind of modified them for these astral ship battles. So each station on the ship, so the turrets, the cockpit, and the engineering will have different actions they can do. And one of Ayla's is to shoot. So go Watch ahead. Should we roll a two? <laughs> but let's let's Ooh. you know. See, look, don't twenty doubt. to hit. Twenty will hit. This ship is very large. It's very well armored, but it's no. It doesn't look as agile as the Twin Star. Um, so yeah, the the arcane energy kind of collides into the side of the ship itself. Eleven points of damage. However, it seems that the blast doesn't have enough force to really uh, cause any structural damage. Like you guys, the Nautiloid ship has a damage threshold, so any damage under that threshold will not cause any damage to the ship. But if you can score over a certain amount, you can cause mishaps to happen. So you can cause like I... the, the engines to rupture and things like that. Do I still get extra attack? You do, yeah. And there's a point as well. When you fire at the, the kind of main bulk of the ship, the tentacles on the front are all so large. There's four of them. They're all so large that you could try and target one of those tentacles, which are a little bit more maneuverable than the ship itself. Um, but the tentacles can be individually targeted with attacks. I got a 21 to hit. Right. I didn't say I was hitting the tentacles, but okay. uh, 12 damage. Two. What do you want? What do you want to aim at? The main ship, or sure, one let's aim at one of the tentacles. At uh, one of the tentacles. Okay. So uh, the blast, the arcane energy, this radiant white light shoots out of the turret, and it carves uh, a chunk out of one of the tentacles, but not quite enough to um, fully damage it. Um, name them now. Damn. A B C D. Nice. Tough, tough, tough uh, boy. 12, 12 damage. Yeah. The, the radiant energy from the turret glances across one of the tentacles um, and you can see it writhe and kind of it doesn't make any noise but you can see that the way it moves it reacts to the, the injury um, in that way. Nova Vija uh, I think I would like to boost the engines okay. um, so we can put some distance so you between us. You only have one more of these left because you boosted twice in the oh. previous battle. Oh, okay, All right. So um, I'm just reading because there's new terms that says mm -hmm. uh, the boost action can be done three times for free. After this, each time the boost is used, the ship suffers a power fluctuation mishap. Yes. Hmm. So if I do this again, it's going to burn out. So you've got one more free out. use of it. You used it twice last time, so you've got one more free use of it. After that, any further boosts will cause it to... Uh, yeah. Mm. Potentially, in which case, I, I might actually um, power up the weapons instead. Okay. Um, and can I, sh uh, like, kind of, sh well, not shout. I guess there's a communication device for the helm here, and uh, talk, just like, yeah, you guys can talk to each other. Yeah, I'll just activate that and be like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna boost uh, the weapons on this time. But if you have any specific orders, l l let me know. Love you, bye. Um, and then uh, let's roll. Uh, so it's an arcana check for me, which is 25, um, and that's to um, empower the weapons. Sure, okay. Uh, and what does... Uh, I don't know if I actually put what that does. <laughs> I think... I don't know if I actually... Yeah, I couldn't the... find... Yeah, I couldn't <laughs> I find how much it actually there. boosts the damage by. Yeah, <laughs> but I just presume it's a that, good thing, right? <laughs> no, that, yeah, it is a good thing. That's my fault. Uh, <laughs> da, 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 da. On a success, uh, the weapons deal 2d10 Editing in action. Damage. Behind the scenes action for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> so the uh, well, and you have to choose which turret, by the way, as well. So you choose which of the turrets you want to empower. So uh, do you want to well, empower I guess knowing the one Kyrie is in. I think knowing that Ayla's just fired, I'll go for Kyrie's one. Okay. So yeah, you can send the additional power to that one, and that will give uh, her a boost of two d10 extra damage if she hits. Cool. Um. Thalia looks to Quill, uh, and uh, you see the little kind of snake heads of her Medusa hair uh, kind of eagerly watching the front of the controls and kind of hissing, coiling around her. She looks at you. Uh, now might be a good time to get our shields operational, uh, Mr. Quillock. I'm okay. going to do something a little dangerous. And you can see that she throws the ship. Um, the debris, you've kind of been this whole section of space is full of garbage from other worlds. You see like floating broken towers, you see remnants of broken ships, 
Um, there's small chunks of rock and ice, um, like a huge asteroid field, but it's made up of just junk um, that litters through most of the st stick space. And she dives the ship into trying using that to give some cover to the ship itself. Um, and she's going to make a piloting check to try and do that. Uh, so this is a d20 plus six. Um, she just barely manages to stop the ship from like smashing into some of the debris. Um, and you can see that the way she's flying is going to make it harder for her to be shot at uh, as she kind of weaves and flies defensively. Um, as she turns around and calls back like, uh, she calls back to you, Nova, just like, just do whatever you need to do. I've not got time to give orders. Trust your gut. I don't know. Figure it out. And then goes back to flying. Um, Quillick and Kalar. Crap. Trust your instincts. Um, yeah, I mean, just DM is not going to tell you what to do. <laughs> yeah, essentially. So, are, are we flying like are, are stuff hit, things hitting the ship as we're flying through this? No, I'm she's, wondering if we she's do managing to avoid them. Yeah, she, so Thalia is like deftly. The ship is kind of swooping in and out. You know, ducking. You know, in between giant chunks of broken crystalline ship, or narrowly avoiding. You know, clusters of fragmented rock or primordial looking lightning that crackles through the air it's just full of obstacles at this point and she's okay and <laughs> looking at the nautiloid mm. can i see if they are about if they've got guns for starters and if they're like yes. charging them up i guess or if yes. they're about both to of those them? things are happening so they have these the four giant tentacles on the front look like if they hit the ship they will you know they're massive they're going to cause damage but you can also see one large main cannon um, is absolutely being prepared to fire. Uh, you can see that there are these tiny, kind of short-looking figures in these, um, you know, like uh, diving suits, these giant sort of round helms with like glass fronts and then the big padded suits. Ooh, they're wearing yeah. those and they're all over the sort of like the, the snail shell and the mollusk ship. Oh, um, outside. In different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see them all kind ah. of like attached by these sinewy tentacle like appendages that are kind of like wrapped around their body and then they're kind of walking and running around and doing all sorts of things okay i'll say be ready i think they're planning to jump on the ship uh and activate the shields okay um so the ship gains 50 hit points any magical damage is deducted deducted from those hit points first and also yes. while we've got shields we can't dash shoot out the anti-magic chaff, or empower weapons. Okay. So it still comes from the last um, time, but it just means that energy is being diverted, or whatever you want to call it, to the shields. Yeah. Um, keep in mind the shields won't protect you from smashing into rocks or big tentacles smashing into you, but against, like, magical weapons fire or spells and things like that. It'll stop the guns that are charging. It will. <laughs> it absolutely will. Uh, okay, so that's your action quill. Sentry down with Nova in the engineering -y section. Um, don't forget, you guys don't have to do the ship actions. If you guys want to cast spells on each other to give you guys buffs, um, if you guys want to do any oh. other skill check you can think of to help, oh. you can do that. Like, you are not restricted only to those ship actions. They are just bonus things you can do. Um, oh, cool. Sentry. Um, so, if I casted Bless, would a 30 feet radius reach... Well, where, you would, where would need that to move. You would need to move up to. So the gangway from where you are, um, we'll mm -hmm. say it's about sixty feet to the lounge, and then from the lounge you can move into the cockpit with thirty feet. So imagine it's kind of like cockpit to lounge, thirty feet movement. Lounge to engineering is sixty feet of movement because um, you're okay. running up and down the main part of the ship. So you might need to move up and then cast spells in the other sections, but you could do that. Cool. Alrighty. So can I? Um... Can I help Nova then give her the advantage on the next um, engineering thing, thing she, she wants does. to do? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So you're just going to give her the help action, awesome. yeah? Yeah. Fuck. Okay. So, yeah, and it's doing things like Nova's pointing out things like hold this, uh, watch this thing, and tell me when it gets red and stuff like that. And you're like, yep. And you're just giving like an extra pair of hands and eyes, uh, helping Nova as she goes, as she calls uh, different things out. Hold me uh, up so I can reach that button. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. There's definitely yeah, totally. that element to it. Uh, the <laughs> Nautiloid uh, is going to take its turn now. Um, so I pick three things that it can do. 
Uh, and it will, first things first, uh, it will attempt to boost its own engines. Uh, it will try and boost its uh, spell jammer engine. Uh, so it needs to make a arcana check, uh, which it passes. Uh, so it, it gains uh, some additional speed. So it actually manages to catch up on you. Uh, Thalia on her turn, by the way, she moved the ship. So we're assuming that the ships are constantly moving at their base speed. Um, but the, sh the, si the ships are just as fast as each other, um, even though one is larger. So she is kind of moving at the base speed she can, which is where the boost comes in because it gives you extra movement on, on your Would turn. they need to do a piloting test as well? Uh, they do. Yes, they do need to do that. Uh, so I will do that. But they are also going to boost. Uh, they will make their pilot in check now, which they fail. Uh, so they get smashed by uh, huge chunks of debris, uh, which mm -hmm. smash into the Nautiloid's ship. Uh, oh. uh, so you see like a huge chunk of rock. They don't really seem to be trying to avoid it as much. Um, their ship is just absorbing these impacts as these huge chunks of debris smash into them um but yeah the uh the hull definitely takes some damage not enough to cause any major problems um but still weakens the hull of the nautiloid itself uh so that was their first action was to boost they can't get any closer to you this turn so instead uh they will attempt to fire their arcane harpoon and you can see that the little figures in the diving suits um attach this kind of like a, a metal looking grappling hook to the front of this arcane cannon uh, and then they begin aiming it to fire and they will take a shot at you guys uh, but that is a miss the the nah. bolt goes sailing past and smashes into the side of uh, uh, some of the debris that Thalia is currently ducking and weaving between um, as the giant grapple kind of smashes into it and they disconnect a, a kind of almost like a, a line of light like a rope light uh, they hit some sort of like system and that goes slack and vanishes um and then the last thing they will do is uh, you sense this kind of building pressure around the ship. All of you kind of get this sense of like like a high-pitched ringing in your minds, uh, like a kind of like really loud high-pitched sound in between your ears. Um, and then a sort of like sudden pulse um, and it vanishes. Uh. But you don't know. That's, that's not good, happened. is it? No. Mm. Uh, Lucius, actually, you might hear um, a cry come from the turret that Kairu was in. You hear like a kind of like, ah, and then it goes quiet. Oh. Hmm. And it's in fact your go, Lucius. Well, I got kicked out of the turret. So <laughs> Lucius is going to go back up the turret and see if she's okay. Okay. He's going to run up the turret uh, and say, Hello? Are you okay? Uh, you can see Kyrie, uh, blood pouring out of like her, one of her nose and her ears, and she's lying on the ground, and her eyes are open, but she's not moving. She's just sort of like... <gasps> Shit. Uh, so can I uh, messenger ring to the mm -hmm. team saying, the... the the lady's down in the turret. Uh, she's bleeding from her face and she's not responding. We need help. And I'll use my action to drag her out of the turret and bring her to the lounge. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so you kind of like begin carrying her body down. Yeah, and you can do that. Um, You can see that like she's breathing. You can see that there is a pulse there. Her eyes are kind of like moving her pupils, but it's like she's paralyzed, like she can't move. She's just kind of locked in. Um, you can see this kind of blood trickling down from her from her nose and her ears. Um, you have to be careful as like her big feathery wings. You're trying to hold your arms around them and they're kind of just gone completely slack. So kind of getting okay. her down these narrow Bundle stairs is awkward. <laughs> Feathers kind of flutter everywhere. The okay. huge claw hands and feet kind of scrape against the metal. But you manage to get her down safely enough and into the lounge. Um, you can probably put her on one of the um, sofa kind of like chairs and there's like straps to strap her in and stuff like that. Okay. Um, All right. Cool. Did someone say boarding party or something? Well, Ayla, <laughs> we go back up to the top as Lucius calls out. Uh, did someone say boarding party? Uh, Ayla Somebody said, else get on that other weapon now. Um, I, I does will... is the um, so Nova powered up the weapons before, but, but it was, doesn't apply to. So is Not that to still yours. the case it that it's on? Turret. 
It's still on, yeah. It's still empowered until it makes its next shot. So the next shot it makes will be empowered, but okay. So not I'll turret, take. Sadly, I will take a couple of more shots then. Oh yeah, at the uh, tentacle or at the hull. Which the tentacles are closer, I guess, right? Um, and they're at the front of the ship, and they're reaching out. <laughs> Tentacle. I don't think this will hit, though. This is only a 12. That is not going to hit, no. Sadly, even the tentacle, it's quite uh, nimble, and it kind of <laughs> slinks out of the way. Yeah, that one definitely 18, hits into the first tentacle, 18, the same one you hit before. Yes. Um, uh, if you're aiming for the tentacle, that definitely hits. The the radiant energy <laughs> burns a, a crisp hole. Ooh, 20 damage. Uh, yeah, it's nice. 20, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, nice. Yeah, this one carves a huge hole, almost scoring like a line along the tentacle and a huge chunk of fleshy, translucent pink material is kind of slewn off um, by the Radiant Lance. Uh, still functional, but does not look like it is going to stay on for much longer if it get, if it get, takes another one of those blows. Um, How many kind of the tentacles are there? Four. Okay. Ugh. Four <laughs> tentacles to the front. Yeah. Uh, as it does that. Anything else, Ayla? I think that's your action. Do you want to, like, message um, a ring or...? No, I've already said what I needed to say. Okay. Uh, I think... think we're good. Okay. Uh, Nova Vija. Um, so, because the shield's up, I can't empower weapons, can I? You cannot. No. It draws... That's too much power, They're Captain. already... They were. Yes. Um, Kyrie's is, is already. already it's already empowered. Yeah, I could have empowered though, yours. So. Yeah. I could have empowered yours though. Um, yeah. I, in that case, I will uh, do a little boosty. Um, screw it. Let's do the last boost. Um, and I've got okay. advantage, right? Because. Um, you do. Yes. Of uh, Sentry, in which case I rolled a twenty-seven and a twelve. So good job. Good. Day. Good job. You had the boost. Um, uh, the advantage. Yeah, you managed to succeed. Uh, the, the ship will gain extra speed on Thalia's turn. Um, so I'm just going to apply that now. Uh, while well, you've got that. Keeping them... It says uh, uh, the Twin Star can't dash uh, with shields as well. No, it can't dash, but it can get the, the bonus speed from the, the boost. So um, You don't so get the impression that the Nautiloid can dash either. Uh, it is uh, you know a bigger right. ship. It just has a base speed the same as the Twin Star. Okay, yeah, so that's it's an, an extra 30, 30 feet. foot. Yeah. Yes, I, have, I have added that on. Um, awesome. Lucia, is anything else, Nova? Any bonus actions, spells you want to cast, or. Uh, stuff you no, say? but Kim's going to mutter something about warp level six and <laughs> engage, and it's going to, yeah, just going to live that fantasy Start for a little bit. All right. Carry on. Uh, <laughs> Lucia, you see uh, Big Cat uh, kind of wanders up um, ominously as you have pulled Kyrie sort of down into the lounge. Uh, Big Cat pads over and sort of like nudges her with his face and then looks at you and you if a, a, a this cat is frowning at you it's like mm, what have you done? Mm. Uh, wow. <laughs> it, easy. That's, that's, uh, just protect, that's Big Cat's turn. protect her. <laughs> that's Big Cat's turn done. Damn. Uh, <laughs> Thalia will take very much uh, she will use her action to basically take advantage of the bonus speed which I've already applied so hopefully I don't flop that roll which I Not don't 20. Um, whew, she does a cool barrel roll and a flip and mm. uh, uh, focuses all of her attention on keeping the ship from smashing into debris and out of the reach of the tentacles she'll uh, flick on a, a small switch um, and she calls out which all of you hear whatever you can do keep those keep those tentacles off of us. If any of those get hold of us, I'm pretty sure they can send people over. Ew. Ooh. Yeah. Um, and so that's her turn is to basically, she has to keep her action for keeping the ship moving and avoiding the debris. Uh, oh. Quillek and Kolar. Uh, I am going to uh, tell Thalia to keep doing what she's doing, and I'm going to leave the cockpit uh, to Ooh. have a look at Kyrie to see if I can figure out what's wrong with her. Um, okay, yeah. So you can move would it, in. That's would it be an feet. action to figure out what's wrong um, with her? This would be an Arcana check. Would that take the action, though? Because I'm tempted to also just cast a spell instead just to see if it works. Make a make an Arcana check 
just for looking at her and like can you think of something just right off the top of your head 19 um, 19 is pretty good you think that she's definitely affected by some sort of magic um she doesn't have any obvious wounds apart from the blood coming out of her nose and ears um whatever has happened you imagine to be some sort of psychic attack or something has like done something to her mind um okay uh i want to use a da -da -da, third hmm no i'll go for a fourth level cure mm -hmm. wounds i also have as a feature spell breaker oh. um oh. when i when I restore oh. HP to an ally with a, with a spell of first level or higher, I can also end one spell equal to or lower than the level of the healing spell. That's nice. Interesting. Oh, Interesting. Wait, you're a healer? Well, roll your hit points. You Let's healing someone? What? what? Not us, no. though, so it's... No, no, he's healing an <laughs> NPC, yeah. of course, guys. My healing... I, I'm healing another bird person. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the wings. Favoritism. 48 plus 5. 21. 21. So here's an interesting thing. So the thing that is affecting her is not a spell specifically, mm -hmm. but it is a magical effect. It is like a magical effect. So I'm going to rule that, yes, the spellbreaker will break the effect of it. Um, nice. Can you just do that every time you heal somebody? Uh, let me see. I think it is. Uh, spellbreaker. Okay. When you restore HP so, to an ally. Whenever. Yeah. So... It, I might, this is, uh, I'm going to allow this now because I think that particularly what has caused the attack is more of a magical thing than anything else. But like, let's say an undead paralyzed somebody with like a paralyzing touch, like a natural ability. This ability wouldn't work for that. So just as a heads up in the future, it doesn't break like all conditions on a target. This would normally only break magical spells. So like if somebody had cast slow or if somebody had cast mm. hold person, right? Oh, it said in this I can instance, end... it's close enough. It does say I can end one spell of your choice on that creature. Yeah, it's, so things like a, a ghoul's paralyzing touch is not a spell. It's a magical yeah, effect, no, that makes right? sense. This yeah, is... that makes sense, yeah. Psionics are a weird thing. Psionics are kind of like magic, but they're not magic. So I'm going to say this counts as a spell. So, yeah, you see Kyrie's kind of... Um, she takes in like a... She's been breathing, but she kind of like almost like... <sighs> like she didn't think she could breathe um and her eyes kind of go wide um you can see her like cheeks already beginning to glow pink and go bright red from embarrassment um as she kind of puts one giant clawed hand over her face thanks uh she kind of calls out as she kind of flutters her feathers get all puffed up and uh on her on her wings um i, th I heard like a i heard like a ringing in my ears and then i couldn't move and it really hurt my head you know Okay, one of you two needs to get back to the gun. I'm pointing at Lucius and Kyrie. Okay. Uh, uh, well, that's your turn. Sentry. What would um, you like to do? I'm going to... Since they're all in the lounge now, I'm going to make a move to the lounge. Um, sure. About 30 uh, feet and then 60 feet. Yeah. If you dash, you can get into the lounge. But you wouldn't, nice, you wouldn't yeah. be able to cut a spell this turn necessarily. No. Okay. But I'll go in there. Oh, Perfect. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I grabbed you at the same time. Uh, oh, yeah, right. so you rush in and you can see everybody kind of gathered around Kyrie uh, as you emerge. And now that there are like more than a couple of people looking at her, the second claw comes over her face and she's just like, ah, oh, stop looking at me. And like her feathers <laughs> try and like wrap around her body. Um, and she Aww. just is like totally just embarrassed to be in her situation. Um, and she's like trying to pick herself up and like cover her face. And she just does not like everyone fussing over her, basically. Um... So yeah, you basically spend your turn running down the kind of deck of the ship, like cha -ching, cha -ching, cha -ching, cha -ching. you burst in as you see everybody there and then your turn ends. Uh, the Nautiloid ship uh, will take three actions. It's still not close enough for its uh, tentacles, so it will attempt to boost again, uh, which it succeeds. Boom. So it closes the distance once more as the ships are kind of ducking in between all of these debris fields um the the nautiloid is kind of boosting its engines desperately trying to get close enough for these huge tentacles to start reaching out and grabbing uh on a pilot check uh it will fail again uh so <laughs> it takes more debris damage that smashes into it 
um, as it just, it, it just charges through like this huge chunk of what almost looks like a wizard's tower. It's like the top half of a wizard's tower, and the Nautiloid just smashes through it in pursuit of the Twin Star, as the rocks and debris go flying behind it. Um, cool. It will then uh, try and fire its arcane harpoon once more. Um, so this is plus six to hit. But again, the shields and the, the natural speed of the Twin Star deflect the uh, attack, sending it flying. And then for its last thing, it will use its psychic disruption. Ayla, I need you to make an intelligence saving throw, please. Well, we know how badly this will go. Uh, Four oh, turns. No, the dice can be kind. You, are you going to portent it? Go ahead. Yep, 16. Nice. What's the total? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you rolled a 17. <laughs> Why'd you roll? <laughs> it would have been cool. <laughs> Just to show you up. Uh, What's the total, so... Katie? Wait, so it's 16 is the roll? Yeah, 16's yeah. the d20. So 15, so I would have been so better. 15, okay. Uh, 15 is enough. <laughs> You feel, uh, oh, you're going to take some damage. You take half damage, um, but you're going to take some, you take five psychic damage. That's already halved. Um, it was 10 normally, so you take five. As you feel this intense pressure uh, in your head, um, just begin to slowly build up like this ringing sound. The rest of you will hear it, but Ayla, it's like pressure, like somebody pressing in on your temples. Ow, 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 ow. They're messing with my head, guys. It's not going to go well. And then is it, that, if it pops, and it suddenly goes. Um, think happy thoughts, is. think happy thoughts, think happy thoughts! <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Lucius, it is your go, Lucius. I look at Kyrie. Does she look like she wants to get up and go to the turret? She doesn't she... look particularly happy. She looks like, even though she's been healed, she's still kind of like looking... Well, first of all, she looks incredibly embarrassed and has currently got her hands over her face. But she also looks a bit shaken up. She looks like she's kind of like a bit panicked and a bit freaked out over what just happened. All right. In which case, I'll tell her, take a moment, uh, get yourself together, boarding party, uh, uh, brain hurty <laughs> stuff, be prepared. And I'll run up the turret and... Okay. Kind slip of into the look controls. Bewildered at the controls. Um, okay, uh, what do I do here? Uh, push. Well, you this saw button. you you helped Kyrie before. You in the last fight, you actually helped Kyrie. It looks I, fairly I simple. In, <laughs> I got in the uh, thing and then yeah. told her to shoot at that thing, and then I got kicked out. So yeah, uh, I'll fire the arcane lances at one of the tentacles. Then, if that's okay. Uh, uh, the one that's already pressed... been damaged, or do you want to hit at uh, a fresh tentacle? I'll do the one that's already been damaged to try and okay. finish it off. Um, okay, sure. So that's a regular... It's a d20 and then 20 it, plus it six. gives you the bonus. Yeah, plus six. Yeah, 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 yeah. These are fixed attack bonuses. 18. 18 Ooh. is just enough to hit the tentacle, actually. Um, and you get an extra 2d10 radiant because this weapon yeah. was empowered. So that's uh, That empowerment goes away. 5d10. Plus two. Plus two, yeah. <sighs> 18 total. So even though um, there was some duff rolls on that one, the <laughs> weapon... Lucius, you're kind of thrown back into this chair as you're like, eh, I think it was this one. And then you click it. This huge beam of light erupts from the turret into the tentacle. You're kind of thrown back against the chair uh, and you watch as it just carves the tentacle's remaining form off. And it just begins twisting and floating and drifting into the, the pallid green vortex that surrounds this slip space. Um, oh, just... I got it. Oh, God, it's gross. <laughs> 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 I've, damn it, I've already used the great shot kid, but don't get cocky line. So you did. Uh, I've already used yeah. it. Um, all I know, Thalia, Thalia calls out, Thalia calls out like, uh, great shot, one in a million. Um <laughs> Uh, Thank you. As as you as you sever the tentacle with the beam, that empowerment is now gone though, Nova. That uh, the power drained, yeah. the additional power drained from the weapon. Uh, but good job, 16 Lucius. on five d ten. I know, right? Yeah, it's still enough. <laughs> still uh, enough. It was eighteen. Oh, the, with the plus two. Yeah, it was. It was just yeah. enough, by the way. That was just exactly how many hit points I had left. Ayla, yeah, oh, it's like me full. Oh well. Um, oh well. Same again, please. I will target yeah, a different tentacle. Uh, yeah, you get two and, oh, 
15 to hit, that wouldn't hit. That's not enough. Uh, the shot you kind of have... Natural 20, though! That is pretty there good. There we go. That is oh, 30 yeah. damage, plus 3d10. Oh my god. Using it, well, using the new crit rules that we use, it's max damage plus the dice again, so... 19! 47 points of damage. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, no. Jesus. I oh, know, 49 that points of damage. That, that definitely made up for the miss. Um, I'll do it. Yeah, the, I mean, this blast, like the first one is uh, you miss, but you use that second shot as like a tracing round to be like, okay, well, if that's going there, I need to aim here. And the huge beam of light strikes just at the base of the tentacle and manages to carve through half of its wriggly, fleshy mass, um, leaving it very structurally weak on the front of the ship. These three remaining uh, kind of stretching out. Uh, as you do so. Uh, Ayla, good good maneuvers. Nova Vija. Um, can I hold my action to uh, repair a mishap if a mishap happens in the next uh, okay. round? Because um, yeah, yeah. there's nothing else I can really do while the shields are up. On standby. Um, yeah, you, you are yeah. on standby. Okay, sure, yeah. sure, sure. Uh, okay. Uh, Thalia will once again attempt to dodge the debris. She cannot dash at the moment. She manages to dodge the debris successfully um, and enters into defensive flying, which gives you some boost to AC. Uh, so far, like, on the ship itself, like, she is pulling these crazy maneuvers. The ship is lurching left and right and flipping up and down. None of you notice that. To you, it's just like being inside a normal room. Like, you don't notice any change in gravity or inertia. Um, it's just as if stood in a, a, a bar in a, in a little in a little lovely room. Um, but yeah, great. Don't, uh, detect anything. Uh, Quillek Adkalar, you are next. Sentry, uh, it might be best for you to be the co-pilot now. Uh, I need to stop the mind stuff from happening, um, and then I will use a resistance on Sentry uh, as well. So she gets okay. a D4 to saving throws. Oh, cool. cool. T1. Very cool. Uh, in fact, Sentry, you're next after that. So uh, Quill bestows upon you this this bonus. Um, what would you like Amazing. to do? Um, so I'd like to say, okay, I'll give it a try. And then I'll um, let Nova know that I'm moving up to the front of the ship. And I'll say to her, uh, message me if you need any help, Nova. I'll come back and help you. It's fine! <laughs> Nothing's on uh, fire! Okay, so yeah, Sentry, you kind of approach, um, and yeah, you had been in the same kind of briefing that Quill got on the systems. Uh, Thalia kind of looks up to you. She she kind of glances up to you for a moment, and then she's like, oh, fuck, and then she has to go back to the controls as a huge tumbling column <laughs> uh, nearly collides into the ship, and she's like, shit. Uh, okay, Sentry, uh, Sentry, sit down. Uh, do what, whatever you can. Keep those shields working if you need them. I have a feeling that we're about okay. to, and then, yeah, uh, as you slide into the seat. Uh, do you want to take an action? You still have an action left. Ooh. Can I help Thalia? The shields are currently up. Yeah, do you want to aid Thalia, guide Thalia? Um, yeah. So the best check for that is a perception check. Oh, okay, God, okay. Ba, 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 da, da. Where's perception? There he is. Cool. So that's a 13 total. 13 total. I believe I, I slightly increased the DC. On this DC. A bit too early. Yeah. So uh, you, you're doing your best to assist and like point out dangers and things like that. But Thalia's reaction speed is so high, it's hard to give her information that she can... Um, she, she's reacting to stuff, but she's almost listening to you and watching out the front. Is She's trying to focus on what she can react to the quickest. And you're helping, but not as well as you perhaps you know could be kind of vibe um okay so cool. uh but yeah you you managed to uh provide some support but not quite giving her advantage um the nautiloid will attempt its third and final boost with a success <laughs> the ship comes bearing down upon the twin star longbow um it looms its dark shadow spreads across the cockpit uh, as Thalia is like, ah, we might need to lose those shields to outrun this thing. Uh, as she's trying to dip and weave and bob, 
Um, but now the three remaining tentacles are pi- uh, poised to make their attacks uh, as it does so. Uh, so that was one of their actions was to use their final boost. Um, they are now in the same ca- uh, region that you guys are. If they try and boost more, they're going to suffer mishaps. Uh, they will then... Uh, they will target the cockpit with a psychic disruption. Sentry and Thalia and Bim must all make intelligent saving throws. Oh, shit. Oh, they target oh, rooms. Hmm. Okay. Oh, my God. Can I Thalia use my um, resistance? Yeah, so it's an On extra D4. Oh, Bim. Lovely, lovely. Actually, no, Bim might be okay. Bim, 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 Bim. 11 plus 4. So it's 13 Bim. total again. Minus Thirteen total. One. That's twelve total. Twelve total. Okay. Um, and then Bim gets a. Uh, he gets a twelve. We know right, if there's any so... fires. We just open the doors, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. It's just like FTL. Yeah. Um, you, Sentry, you feel the same kind of this building pressure in your mind. This kind of this high pitched whine that builds and builds and it begins causing this incredible pain throughout your mind. Um, Bim clutches his head. He's like, ow, shit! As uh, you see his like little body begin to tremble. Thalia kind of grits her teeth, but she doesn't seem to be as badly affected as the rest of you. Uh, I'm afraid, Sentry, you're going to take some Sentry's damage. Aura. So is Bim. What? Sentry's aura. Right, that gives it to other creatures, does it? What's You tell me. You tell me if there's an ability that can help. You tell me. Got that saving throw yeah, or thing? Isn't it? This is, Any this is, spells this is that are cast around you on Hazel. It is, yeah. Or, or rewarding uh, resistance to damage from spells. There you go. Okay. Uh, nice. So. Good call. Um, you're gonna take uh, again. Yeah, it is technically a spell. It's a psionic ability. I'll treat it as a spell for this. Um. So it would be 13 psychic damage, but everybody in the room is now taking half thanks to Sentry's aura. So you take six psychic damage. Um, Bim collapses to the ground. <laughs> He's just Aww. like, ah! And then he, like, keels over. Um, but Sentry, you and Bim are also paralyzed. Uh, you are basically, oh, okay. you feel your body seize up. <clears throat> um, Thalia manages Sorry. to kind of grit her teeth. And it's like, oh, shit. And she's like flying around. Uh, if she had gotten paralyzed, probably would have been much, much worse. But she managed to yeah. save. Um, but yeah, you feel your body kind of lock up. Uh, Court might heal you. And, and <laughs> well, Sentry got a saving, Sentry got a saving throw. Um, True. And then the very last action that the Nautiloid will take is it will command its three tentacles to try Whoa. and grab and smash the Twin Star. So, uh, these are three attacks. Uh, what's the Twin Stars AC, somebody? Um, uh, oh. uh, what? I don't think 20. he gave that to us, Mark. Did you? 20. 20. Uh, it should be. It's that, yeah, I gave it. It's in 20. the handouts. 15 while uh, 20. motionless. 15 yeah. while motionless. You are not motionless. You are moving. Um, if Thalia had been stunned, then perhaps it wouldn't have been motion. Uh, it wouldn't have been a motion. Uh, the first Lord. one is an 18. So the first one, Thalia manages to kind of like barrel roll the ship and avoid this huge tentacle kind of like swinging by. Uh, the th- second tentacle uh, is also a miss as it smashes into a huge column um, as it goes beside it. But the very last one is a 23 to hit. Oh! A tentacle. <laughs> Um, and not only does it actually smash into the twin star, causing some bludgeoning damage, that's 16 whole points of damage. Um, so it's well, that goes through shield as well, right? It does, yeah. So uh, the hull is kind of, you, you, there's a shuddering as this huge smash comes through the whole ship, as all of you are kind of set shuddering. But then you notice that this tentacle has wrapped around the ship itself and is currently grappling it. Uh, locking it in place, oh. like holding on to it. Um, cool. As it does, though. So. Yeah. So we motionless uh, now? You are currently motionless, as it has you technically grappled. Um, okay. You can you can Whoa. destroy the tentacles from the turrets. The turrets can shoot the tentacle off. Um, or you could do cool spell stuff. Um, if somebody yeah, wants to we... go outside the ship, you could try and do that. Um, there's lots the of things you could try. 
I leave that <laughs> to uh, you guys. That was their last action. So Lucius Virian, you can see this giant purple fleshy tentacle. Um, and it's an I'm unharmed one that. that currently has you grappled. I'll be shooting at that now, please. Shoot. All right, okay. Straight uh, away. Tempo, you have... No, you don't have disadvantage. It's a fucking ship. If this was a living... Oh, race, it's a 10 anyway. Ooh. So even at this close range, uh, you can't quite get the angle as the hmm. ship is kind of being jostled around and the the, shoot, the shot just goes wide uh, as the brilliant light uh, streaks past. Trying to hit the button, though. Uh, like... I can't like do it. <laughs> being thrown all over the place as you are. Uh, Ayla. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take you a couple of shots the at, the, at, the at the one, one that's, that's grappled you. Is, mm -hmm. um, uh, the bad rolls. The bad rolls. I know. Second um, one hits. Seven, seven plus six won't hit, but 17 plus six will hit. So... Yes. Twelve... Not much damage. 12 points. 12 points. I mean, it, it, you blast several huge chunks um, of fleshy organic materia, leaving these huge pocked marked craters in this giant tentacle's uh, fleshy outer substance, um, but not enough to make it relinquish its grip uh, upon the ship itself. Uh, Nova Vija. No mishaps, unfortunately. It wasn't quite enough damage to cause any structural damage. So when you all say go outside... Um, like, yeah. how would one do that? Like, is there a little... Uh, there is, uh, in the lounge... Or... Well, there, in the lounge, there is a little platform that can be opened to allow you to go outside, yeah? Um, Any space suits? None that you yeah, can cute see. Cute little SpaceX suits, no? No. Um, and what, what Nova... How much does Nova really know that how... What do you need to survive in astral space? Well, oxygen is one. Um, so, would Nova's ability really work? Do you need work, oxygen like, in the sticks? I don't freaking know. I didn't read oh, that shit. book, that's, did I? That's my point. Do you? You don't know. Mm. Do you want to make I a would check? I'll take that experiment. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, let's experiment now. Let's experiment now, shall yeah. we? Uh, well, yeah, that's I guess could I, roll, uh, could I roll to search my memory if like, I know anything sure, you can about... make an arcana check. It's, it's not really your memory. It's more like... Nova making a good, solid, educated guess of, like, based on what I know, this, this, and this, and this. That There's is 20 flames points. outside. <laughs> Must right. be oxygen. Um, <clears throat> so, based on what you've learned from Thalia in your conversations, probably the conversations you had with Bim um, on the ship as well, you can go outside in the astral sea. It's not like oh. going out into space in real life where you're going to instantly be, like, frozen and die and horror and you're eyes will pop and horrible things um there is oh. no oxygen so you can't you need something that allows you to breathe and it is intensely cold out there so you will take okay. cold damage as when you're outside but you can do it you're not going to instantly die um the sticks is the bigger thing in that if you touch the green vortex of the the mm. kind of corridor what the bim told you that it will basically it destroy your mind like your body might survive but it will completely annihilate your mind that's um, risky and i like my mind yeah um and obviously <laughs> a ship that is currently being grappled and being thrown around you might need some way of making sure you are not thrown off into tethered. yeah you need to be tethered some way and and if you were to go up the airlock in the lounge, like, I'm guessing it wouldn't, like, blow everyone else out. There is, like, a kind of, like, yeah. There's no vacuum. There's no pressure or vacuum okay. and stuff. It's more like sea. It's more like being underwater, but not water. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, it's yeah. Fantasy space. Okay. <laughs> fantasy space. Fan is, uh, is magic. There's no pressure change. Yeah, there's no, no. pressure change yet. Uh, for now, I'm not going to go outside just yet. I don't think we're okay. there yet. I think I, th I don't think we're quite there yet. But that's it. Okay. File that under things to know. Um, and I would like to can't um, be a TPK if Nova's flying oh, around wait. in space. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in space. Oh wait, the shield is still up, aren't they? They are still up. Yes. Um, okay, I'm going to. Can I hold my action and shout up? Uh, whoever is in the cockpit, um, I can't empower the weapons. If, if, well, the shields are up. I <laughs> and then can I hold my action to yeah. um, w if the shields are dropped, I will empower um the weapons. 
Okay. I will empower uh, Ayla's weapon. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, you do that. You call that out. And uh, there is a kind of moment. And then Thalia, in a very panicked voice, is just like, slight problem with that. Your friend's sentry doesn't appear to be moving anymore. Neither is Spim. Uh, I've got to try and break free of this. Um, and you can see her wrestling with the controls. Um, she's going to tr- attempt to break the grapple using the Twin Stars engines. Um, but this is a pretty difficult test for the Twin Stars. So let me bring up the ship's information. So it has a plus five bonus to its strength, but the Nautiloid has a plus eight bonus to its strength. Very good for the Twin Star, 24. Ew. 23 uh, so you have a moment where Thalia kind of uh, sentry you can see and hear this um, but you can't react but Thalia kind of like you see her close her eyes for a moment and you can see tears kind of welling up in her eyes um, and she just touches the console and she's like please please just get us out of here and then she hits these kind of like big crystals on her kind of like orbs that she controls it with. And you hear this sudden roar, this demonic roar erupts throughout the ship. And you feel the tentacle loosen and then it pops forward um, as she just oh. manages to escape the grapple. However, you are still um, next to the, the enemy ship. It's still mm. right next to you. They can attack with the tentacles again but she's at least broken free of the uh, the grapple itself, which is a good thing. Man, what ah, a badass. Lowest racy and stuff. Well, yeah, also that's, that's easy, all the shit, yeah. baby. I love oh. her. Quillick. Uh, right, so um, I'm going to... Can I can I see down the gangway into the turrets and into the cockpit from the lounge? No, the turrets are up, so there are ladders that go yeah. up into the wings, um, and the turrets are on the top. You can see into the cockpit, and you can see down the gangway, but you won't be able to see Nova. Because she's in the um, lower section. But you right, can see okay. Sentry. You can see Sentry. What does Sentry look like, Rhiannon? Is it just sort of like... <laughs> I think she was maybe poised to like press a button, and she's just like stopped. Like... <laughs> 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 Right, well, I will healing words at level... Uh, Yeah, I think we should focus... We should focus Bim, so I'm going to heal him. No, I'll I'll healing word sentry. Um, So in the same thing, at level 3, hopefully that will also get rid of it. Um, That's a good point, actually. The level of the spell. Hmm. Let's be... We get 10 healing anyway. Thank you very much. Out here, yeah, this would be more this. No one can hear you scream. Every single time. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'll make I'll, it level I'll two. Try. All right. So, was it level three? You did it at? Yes. All right. The paralysis ends on Sentry. Um, Woo! Boom. Thank you. You feel your body kind of come back. Uh, you feel your your, you know. Your motor functions return um, as Quill's magic breaks whatever mental hold was over your system. Oh, yeah, and you cool. um, you still have a uh, resistance. By the way, that, that lasts for another nine turns. Um, uh, I think once it's used on a saving throw, it's gone, isn't it? Uh, it says resistance uh, lasts until oh, the spell then ends. You're right. Okay, in that case, I will. Oh, it's a touch spell. Mm-hmm. I'll cast resistance on Kyrie. Okay. Uh, I think out of everybody, like you go to touch her and she flinches a little bit, but you're a bird man and she finds you less intimidating than everybody I'll else. I'll just say so like kind of... this will this will stop the pain again. Okay. 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 Thank you. And then she kind of like look, she kind of like opens one eye uh, and like looks at you properly and like nods and sort of like half smiles, but it's also a grimace. Uh, <laughs> I'm also not looking at her. I'm like looking away from her as I'm doing it. Okay. Cool. Uh, that helps okay. a lot. Um, yeah. Sentry. Oh, damn it. Um, okay. I'm going to call to Nova and say, okay, I'm going to deactivate the shields. Uh, get ready to empower the weapons or get us moving. Roger! Deactivate. deactivate the shields. 
Wonderful. What's, what's up, Mark? You got a smirk. What's that? You got a smirk on. The moment the shields were lowered, no, you started I, it, smirking. It's, it's because I was... No, it's because I was just like, I have to manually click and type inactive, and it's thoroughly pointless me doing that, but I wanted to make it like, do shields are now there. Oh, right. <laughs> I, it was a smirk to myself, don't worry. It was a smirk to myself about how stupid I'm being. Um, oh, it's cool. cool. So essentially, <laughs> you lower the shields, and then Nova, you wanted to empower as a held action. So you can try that now. Uh, 16. Just succeeds. Um, yeah, you managed to, you're kind of like, right, okay, if I draw energy from this crystal, I guess, and then I think this is one of the engines, and maybe if I pull this, and then... <laughs> and then you kind of Bam! redirect it. Do you know, like, in video games, when you have to play the pipe game to hack... That's yeah. what engineering oh, is in the shit. Yeah. You're, you're <laughs> like doing that, the, yeah. the pipe game where you're like, uh, reroute this to here <laughs> and then that man. to there. And... Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's no like exit there! Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, perfect. Uh, Sentry, anything else you want to do? Any bonus actions or saying anything? or? Um, I think I'm good. I'm good. Thank okay. you. The Nautiloid. The Nautiloid will go. Um, it will... The Nautiloid. Wow. Uh, it will attempt to grapple the ship once more with its giant tentacles. Uh, Piss off, mate. Uh, so the first one. Go on. Tom no, was nothing. I was just, I was oh. just uh, exclaiming in pain. Carry on. Oh, I was like, you went, uh, and I was like, oh, is that uh, like a portent or something that you're doing? Um, no, my portent won't one, help here. Misses. Um, as Thalia has got the ship moving again. Um, the second one. Ooh, oh, no. Oh, that's twenty. That, that's Ooh, a bad boy. one. Uh, that's eight, a bad one. Sixteen, twenty-four that's bad, plus yeah. thirty-four. Uh, would have helped. Forty-two points of hull damage, uh, which is a mishap. So there's that. Shit. Ew. And somebody roll me a d twenty. I'm not doing oh, Tom. it. Tommy, I know you love it. I know you love it. It was what either me or Rhiannon. Either me or Rhiannon, I'll do it. Twelve. Twelve. Mm, this isn't as bad as it could be. So as the as the giant tentacle smashes the twin star, um, and it the it wraps around, it grapples the ship once more. Uh, you oh. see, Sentry, several of the crystals in front of you begin flashing in bright colors. Nova, you see that the 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 power diversion for the shields begins erratically sparking and breaking. Uh, you currently have shields disabled. Um, the ship immediately loses all shields it had, and the shields cannot be used or charged until this mishap ends, and that is a repair check to fix. It's an intelligence repair check, as you need to manually recalibrate the crystals. The shielding crystals, Captain, they've gone! What is that noise? <laughs> what is that noise? Why is it flashing red? Oh, <laughs> And then it will make one more attack with its tentacle, which it has advantage on now. But even with advantage, it is still not a success, uh, as Wonderful. it does so. Um, oh, but we are... Then, as it, well, we're oh, not moving motionless. Anymore. You are not moving. That is another hit. Thank you, Tom Hazel. Sorry, guys. No. That's only Thank eight you, points of damage. Eight points of damage isn't enough to go through the hull. So it hits the hull, but it's not enough to cause any major damage to the, the Twin Star itself. Um... As its last two actions, almost like a legendary action, it is going to, you feel a pulse run through the tentacle. You see like a purple light kind of run down the length of this tentacle that's gra uh, grappled you. Um, and then there is a very loud buzzing noise in the lounge area as three oh, shapes begin to materialize. No! Um, oh, boarding God. party! Oh. Boarding? They came through the tentacle. Like. I hate that. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> What's coming in? No, but seriously, we're bound. Is that oh, no, a beholder, Mark? <laughs> no. I'll tell you what it is. I'll just delete this. I'm still need to delete these hit points because these aren't real. These are fake hit points. Right. It's not okay. a beholder, don't worry. It's just, that's just the token I had. Don't worry. Okay. It looks an awful okay. lot like a beholder, but you don't think it's a beholder. It's, it's a mini one, isn't it? 
that's still an absolute bitch. So, what appears, um, Quill, you, Kyrie, and Big Cat are the ones that see this. Uh, three figures emerge as this uh, tentacle pulses with power, and then this kind of shimmering purple light emerges in the lounge. Two gray-skinned dwarves, their eyes completely white, um, and big, thick metal plates embedded into their temples and the backs of their head. Like these big sort of like um, circlets, but on the backs of their heads and like t- like embedded into their frontal lobes. Um, each armed with a short little scimitar and a hand crossbow wearing sort of leather armor. They kind of emerge and begin looking around. The creature with them is very alien looking. Uh, it hovers a few feet off the ground, um, and it has a writhing mass of tentacles and eye stalks. Uh, there are about four eye stalks, um, each with a, a blinking purple eye. Um, the central body of this thing it looks like it maybe once it, it had an eye, but that eye has gone like a cloudy, milky white, and uh, no longer appears to be functioning. You think? Um, and then the bottom tentacles are all these long, kind of octopus-like tendrils uh, as they appear. Uh, however, huh. it seems that they don't immediately act. It seems that the act of teleportation, they're going to have to wait for their initiative to come around um, as they're kind of beamed aboard. Uh, don't Lucius, like it. Virian, Elanasto. Um, what's my awareness of these things appearing in the lounge? You probably see like a purple light uh, coming from below you, but right now your vision is obscured in the turret by this giant tentacle that's wrapped around the ship. Um, I think I yeah, just you definitely hear something. Is everything all right down there? And I'll just shoot again. Okay. Um, D twenty plus six is a twenty-two. That's a enough. Hit. Uh, which tentacle are you going for? I'm going for the one that uh, is grappling the right. ship right now. That is currently another uninjured one. That was the middle tentacle. Hopefully enough to, like, break its grip at least. Maybe. So what was the... Uh, you do over 20 that? points of damage and I'll make a saving throw. See if it 3d10 can 3d10 plus 2 7 That's 1d10. That was 1d10. Oh! <laughs> that was close. I'll just roll two more d10 then. Uh, so that's 19 total. 19! 19 total. Not enough to cause it to shake the grip, but you do blast more chunks out of these tentacles. All three of the tentacles have got these, like, huge bits floating out off off of them now. 21. Was it 21? Yeah, because it was plus 2 as well. Plus No, that's included in the 5. Look, 5 plus 2, and then 2d10. It's included. That's what I was saying. This this 1 and this 2, that means 19. (laughs) Yep, I know. Yeah, good good job. Uh... You're welcome. Math. (laughs) <laughs> this is this is why when I play board games with Tom Hazel and he tells me a rule, I'm like, are you sure that's right, Tom Hazel? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doubt. Still fun. <laughs> Press X to doubt. Doubt. Press X to doubt. Uh, anything else, Lucius? Uh, apart from me calling out, asking you, everything's all right in the lounge, then okay. no. No. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was Quill. <laughs> There's what elephants in there. Yeah. Probably fine. <laughs> I'll keep shooting. Ayla. Uh I'll take a couple of shots at the one that's grappling us, the tentacle that's grappling us. That sounds smart. 18 plus 6. That's a hit. That's a whacking. Um that's a whacking. That's number and one. I've got five I've got five D ten. Because you do. I've got only on this weapon. Only on this first hit, yes, but yes, five D ten for this first one. 42 oh, plus 2, 44. Oh, right. You blow this thing off. Oh, uh, shit. 42. Two, three tens. Three tens. With a sound of five. max damage. She's having a good day. Um, uh, yeah, like, <laughs> I don't know, like, does. Is, is Ayla enjoying this? Like, this act of oh, just, yeah. like. <laughs> like does a bear know? shit in the woods? Come on. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> yeah. you just kind of. Like, does she say anything or, like, do anything? It's like, you just watch these streaks of light just tear this thing apart. Just... I think she's probably quite oblivious to whatever everyone else is saying, and she's just yeah. like, ah! 
just going crazy. Yeah. Uh, well, you have another um, shot. Uh, it's not in power. Yeah, I do. Another shot. I know. Um, I there's, will there's try and hit. There was another left. one that was. There was another one that, that I damaged damage. that's really damaged. Yes. So I'll try yes. and hit that one. Hopefully. Fifteen plus six. That's a hit. Uh, that's number so one. Seventeen points of damage. 10 points of damage. You turn the gun, and after annihilating the one that had you grappled, you turn on the second, and <laughs> again, you just tear it apart, and it just oh. makes its way into nothing. Nice. Uh, only just one tentacle yeah. remains. My finest now on the ship. moment. My finest That's moment. A, that was amazing. I can retire. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Nova Vija. So many things I could do. Um. <laughs> I think probably her her priority would be tentacles bad. Um, so yeah, I'm going to empower weapons again. Um, I'm going to... I'll go with Lucius's Gunu. That's an 18. Okay, yeah. It's a success. You managed to successfully divert power and give Lucius a boost to his next attack. Uh, I'm just going to ignore the smoking mess that is the shield panel at the moment, I'll be like, it's fine, it's fine. I'll cut to you in a yeah. second, I'll get to you in a second, I'll get to you in a second. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just put that over here with the rest of the fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, nothing else, uh, Nova? No, just mild panic. Okay. Uh, Thalia will look at everything kind of going on. She kind of risks a glance back. Um, she looks at you, Sentry, and it's like, Sentry, I think you better deal with our uninvited guests and quickly. And then she hits on the comm. Nova, my dear, next chance you get, give me as much speed as you can. I don't care if it fucks the engine. Do it. Um, I, I can't. We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. I'm not letting those things get a, a hand on us again. Uh, and then she will make her pilot in check. Oh. Oh, dear. That's an in her oh. distraction. In her distraction, the twin star careens into a large ice ball uh, that smashes into the hull, and it is a mishap. Um, Not another one. I've uh, only got two boy, hands. Or... Rhiannon, actually, roll a d20 for me. Uh... We'll take it in turns. 17. This is actually perfect. Um, as the ice ball smashes into the ship, suddenly that feeling of just being in a normal room goes out the window you begin sort of semi floating off the ground you're thrown around um as the da the inertia dampeners are disabled um nova you're oh. like fuck like the whole ship is rocking to and fro until this mishap ends the ship's internal gravity and stabilization is disrupted until this mishap ends the ship has disadvantage on dexterity checks and all ability checks and attack rolls made by creatures inside have disadvantage. That's all creatures, though. That's all creatures. Yeah. Um, so you can That's see that biggie. the two... The, the problem is that the two Durgar are struggling the most, like you guys, but the yeah. thing that is just floating doesn't seem to be bothered by any of this. It's just like... Mm -hmm. uh, as it does so. Okay. Speaking of, uh, the two Durgar uh, are going to take their action. So can they move A still? Uh, they can, yeah. So this is they they Bob. teleported in last turn. This is their new and this is their next initiative. They can still move, um, but I will say that they're a bit disrupted. But they're going to go for the two targets, the the two main targets they can see, which is probably Big Cat and Quill. Uh, they are going to take make attacks at the two of you guys. Um, Looking forward to fact, seeing actually, Big no, Cat they, in action. They hmm. both go for Quill. Um, oh, never mind. <laughs> Oh, actually, my apologies. Big Cat goes before them, uh, which matters because Big Cat pounces on them. <laughs> Big Cat Yay. goes Yay. 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 on them. Um, Absolutely. So well. you, you see he actually backs up into the corner and then takes a running leap at these two guys. He's just like, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, <laughs> and he leaps onto them, uh, trying to sink Pushes his, off uh, the wall. teeth. Yeah, basically. Uh, he sinks his teeth into the first Durgar, or he tries to. Sadly, oh, he does have disadvantage oh. as well. Um, oh! Because of the thing. Uh, hey. Would have been amazing, but no. He goes sailing past as the, the hit of the ice uh, sent him flying, sprawling to the side. Um, as he kind of has to wheel around uh, as he lands awkwardly. 
Um, but he begins growling and, and snarling at them. And the two Durgar will turn their attention on the big cat, which is who they are most threatened by right now. Uh, they will both make two attacks uh, with disadvantage each. So the first one is a miss. Uh, as he goes to stab Big Cat and then is like thrown to the side like a bad Star Trek ex extra. Whoops. Ignore that, dear 100. Uh, the second one, however, <laughs> is a 17, which is going to hit Big Cat, sadly. Um, so that is 3d6 of damage. Or 11 points of damage to Big Cat as they strike him in the side. Uh, as he kind of like, you see like a big streak of crimson stain his white fur. Um, and that is there you go. Uh, Kyrie on her turn will flap over to her turret, climb up, and basically say, you, 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 your friends need help. There's, there's things down there. A floaty eye and, and some and some Durgar. Quick, what? go, go. Okay. And she's pulling you out of the chair and throwing you down. Yeah. Again. Uh, I, I hit a <laughs> tentacle, by the way. Uh, you, you did really good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Um, Quillic and Kalar. If I... Weird question. If I lightning lure something and there's no gravity, can I use the momentum of the pull to, like, slam it into a wall as well? Well, surely you... It depends on if the thing you are trying to pull is heavier yeah. than you. If it's heavier than it's you, you can pull yourself towards it. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to do that, then. Because there's <laughs> no way these things are not heavier than me. I've got hollow bones. Yeah, you... Um, yeah, you're definitely like <laughs> It's so hollow, hollow bone boy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hollow bone boy. So hollow. Um, okay, I will do a uh, shield of faith on myself um, mm -hmm. as an action, and then do a sacred flame on the big tentacle thing. Oh. So, dexterity saving throw from him, which is disadvantage. Okay. Uh, it's not. It's the disadvantage on the ship, not on the creatures inside. Oh, oh okay. Creatures inside have disadvantage on attack rolls. Um, that is an 18 for this thing. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. That's that, then. It just kind of doesn't take slowly damage. floats out of the way. Nope. Uh... Anything else from Quill? That's bonus action action, I guess. Do you want to move anywhere? Uh, that's everything. Uh, I will move to the... So how long is this lounge? Uh, it's like, let's say, 50 feet. Okay, I'll go towards like the door, by the side of the door to the cockpit, so when Sentry comes pretty out... Much, yeah, pretty much like in here, most things are going to be able to reach you. Like, I'm not going to do like grid map, but yeah, in here, like... You, there's, if you get into the gangway or the cockpit, then it's harder for them to get to you, but... Um... Yeah, okay. But well, yeah, I'll go by okay. the door of the cockpit. All right, well, sentry. Um, I'm going to get up and start start making my way. Making my way making to the lounge. Making my way downtown. Yeah, and it's then, as I'm walking through, can I cast enlarge? Will I fit? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You'll fit, but it's going to be my... tight. Big Cat's a large okay. creature, but you're going to be like craning your your head like sort of like mm. Mm, okay i'm still gonna do it anyway <laughs> um <laughs> it's my last charge on that i don't know what that means but this it means that you don't get it but you have to take a long yeah, rest right. before you get it back a long rest so... oh i see cool nice nice so you nice, come in, nice you emerge out this uh enlarged sensory form um as you see the sight before you, big cat being stabbed by two Durgar and a weird floaty eye thing. Awesome. I'll just say, you don't have permission to be on this ship. <laughs> no <laughs> ticket. <laughs> no, no ticket. ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And that, is, and that is me. What are you doing? Oh, can I still attack? Yeah, yeah, it's just your movement, yeah. Oh, actually, oh. it's action to oh, pass yeah. the large. Oh, it's it? action to... Yeah, it is, yeah. Is it a, I can't remember what it is on the Matrix. Is it a bonus action or an it's, action? It's, an, it's an, it an action to cast enlarge. Oh, it's an action to cast enlarge, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so you emerge and just give them a threat, and then uh, you see the the floaty eye creature, before it takes its turn, a voice 
seems to echo in all of your minds as you are uh -oh. engaging in this uh, matter. Um, I'm just trying to find where I wrote the thing. Uh, you just hear a kind of very alien sounding, distant, but also uncomfortably close voice in your minds. Um, God, I should have set my voices up to do it. The voice, uh, yeah. I don't have a good one, though. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't have a good one set up, so I'm not going to do that. Um, you hear this voice that echoes, Be at peace, little pirates. Surrender your vessel and your minds, and you will be given a life of endless bliss and purpose. Uh, and then its eye stalks begin to glow. So, uh, randomly, I'm going to pick three targets. So there's only three targets in the room, Quilt, Sentry, and Big Cat. The first uh, eye uh, shoots out towards, we'll do Quillek. Uh, can you make a constitution saving throw, please, Quillek and Kalar? Constitution, my favorite. Uh, am I within range of Sentry? Um, sure. So what does that mean? Plus two? Uh, what's plus your, three. What's your aura? Oh, plus three. It's plus three on saves, yeah. Okay. All right, so 11. 11. Ah. As the beam strikes you, Quillic Adkalar, your mind is overwhelmed with visions and images and sounds. You are stunned. You may repeat the same oh. throw at the start of each turn. Shit. Uh, sentry, the next beam comes for you. That's a duplicate, so I will okay, re-roll. Okay, okay. Uh, intelligence saving throw, please, Sentry. Okie dokie. Uh, intelligence is there. Bam, 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 bam. 14. 14 total. You manage to shrug off as this thing tries to pry into your very mind and unleash your darkest secrets and fears upon yourself, but you manage to kind of shrug it off, um, resisting its, its uh, mental effects as it does so. Uh, and then Big Cat... Uh, Four. Ooh, uh, D20, this is a deck saving throw, which Big Cat succeeds, and you watch as the beam strikes Big Cat, he flicks his body, his fur seems to glow, and the beam shoots back at the thing that just fired it. Oh, uh, cool. He is so That's cool. Awesome. I love him. Uh, as it hits the creature that it's been effective, however, it does seem to have no effect for some reason as the beam strikes itself. Son uh, of a biscuit, body. Muncher. Yeah. Very good against <laughs> yeah. um, certain spells, but against psionics, this thing is designed to be this way. Uh, it just sort of Love floats it. into the middle of the room and doesn't do anything else. It just... <laughs> and then it stops. Uh, hmm. Okay. The big giant Nautiloid ship uh, will attempt uh, its turn. Um, it will attempt to tentacle uh, with its one remaining tentacle uh, that is badly damaged, which misses. Uh, Thali manages to kind of dodge the ship as the tentacle flies wide. Uh, it will then attempt to... It can't do that. can't do that. It will fire its arcane harpoon. Harpoon, which also misses. Uh, it goes wide. Thalia dipping and weaving in between all of the different pieces of debris. And then finally, it will target Ayla in the cockpit again with a psychic disruption. Intelligence saving throw, please, Ayla. Damn it! Hey, you blew up two of its tentacles. It does not yeah. like Three. you. Three. Three okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, you're gonna take. Uh... Wait, no, 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 no. Sorry, that was a. That was a four. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna take damage. You are going to take six points of psychic damage, and you are paralyzed. You can repeat the saving oh. throw at the end of your turn. I'm out! Ha. Oh, uh, man. That happens. Lucius. And All then right, we'll taking... uh, take a break after Lucius' turn, because that's the start of a new round. Uh, taking Kari's advice, I will hop down the turret and say, Okay, what's up? Oh, my God! Uh, and <laughs> then I see this will... thing. This horrible pink fleshy thing slowly spins and it's one milky central eye looks at you I will sounds like rubber. psychic borgs psychic will... borgs don't like it yeah a bit like that isn't it old mind I'm going players. to twin a chromatic this, orb this is futile Please. okay oh 
Yeah, sure. Uh, level three, that would be uh, five sorcery points. Uh, chromatic orb at third level, please. Uh, I'm going to do lightning. No. Fuck off. Uh, acid. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, so here we go. Big I remember boys. two separate attack rolls. Yeah. And you're disadvantaged because the dampeners are off. Acid. 15 to hit. Well, it's a it disadvantage. A... So just roll another d20 to see if okay. you get a disadvantage. Also, your thing is doing yeah. that weird thing again. Okay, I'll just it do might roll be easier to just roll a d20. Right, yeah, right, just right. roll. He's counting that 15 as a crit for some reason. Yeah. It's 22 it's for the first one. That's, yep, yeah, okay. Well, there's a disadvantage, so this is the first 13. Orb. 13. Against? Who's that against? Uh, The horrible floaty boy. Horrible floaty boy. Okay. Uh, That hits. Uh, So the first orb connects into his body. The second orb, where's that going? Has to be a that will go target. to the, the closest Durga to me. Okay. So, again, disadvantage because you're kind of being thrown and wobbled all over the place. One. Twen uh, 15 is my lowest. 15 still hits as well. Yep. So, the 15 also right. hits the Durga. Five so, just roll one damage. Just roll one damage, Ron. We'll apply it to both of them. 13 acid. Can you re-roll those ones? Or do you get to turn them into twos I or can't. something? I can. Turn them into twos. Thank you. Elemental Adept of Acid. So That's it's 15 total. 15 to both. Okay. And... Uh, points of Acid damage. Dichromancy as well, please. Yes, two. Of seven points to the Floaty Boy. Floaty Boy. The Acid Who splashes the over these boy, creatures. Um, and you see it does recoil. And in your mind... You just kind of hear this horrid, ah, screaming pain uh, that just projects into your mind. Quill, Sentry, you both hear it as well. Um, as Lucius calms this thing, it just screams at you. Uh, the Durgar, though, as the acid splashes on his face, you see his, like, skin melting, but just no reaction. Ugh. Just this pallid sort of, like... That's a drone. That's messed up. <laughs> oh. That's so that is where we're going to take a break, everybody. We're going to take a quick Ooh, short break. Um, and then we're going to come back and finish off this madness in just a What's moment. That? Two, two stunned people. Three people on the ship. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's, uh, it's close. Right. It's not good. Yeah. But hey, it's exciting, though. <laughs> yeah, it's hell exciting. Anything. I love combat. It's cool. We're in space. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, right, well, if awesome. you guys want to take a break. Uh, Tommy, do you want to read out some stuff and then swap with Trotty? Yeah. For sure, for sure. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. For sure. No, no doubt. doubt. No doubt, uh, no doubt. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Don't no speak. Doubt, no doubt. Cool, cool, cool. I know just no what doubt, you're no saying. Uh, <laughs> I really want to know. <laughs> nice. You can't BRB say there. no doubt. That's where my mind goes. Yeah. That's Don't where. speak. Uh, I know just what you're thinking. Right, like my Gwen Stefani. Bam. I loved it, Mark. One more. <laughs> Don't no? speak. Okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Don't speak. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. I got him. <laughs> Don't speak. It's just awful. Hey guys, um, it's me, Gwen Stefani. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of another No Doubt song. I can't think of um, any. Let me find one. Right. We got time. We got I'm just a girl. Uh, anyway, Logan of Roxley. I'm just a girl. I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just me now. Well, well, hello everybody. Welcome to the Tom Power Hour with me, your host. You guessed right. <laughs> it's Tom, <laughs> and I'm here on my own, ready to read. Your wonderful donations. Wow. Loban of Roxley, thank you very much. Hi, Rollers. At Mark. Oh, that sucks. He's not here. I know you speak of Mercer and Perkins as your DM gods, but you should know that your storytelling and world building are right up there with them. I agree. Maybe you're well, just a humble guy, it. but don't sell yourself short. He's not here. Thank you for being you. As Mark, I know Mark's response to this. There is no best DM and there is no ranking for DMs, just... 
who your DM is, who your I'm your, your style one. of DM. But uh, also, Mark's number one. Super Mega Boom Pow with thirty dollars. Thank you very much. Thank you for helping me through the tough times. I've been struggling with my anxiety and depression a lot lately, but watching our streams help. But I'm glad. Hopefully, one day I will get over my social anxiety and finally be able to meet you. For for now, some dollar. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure you will get past it, and uh, I'm glad we're helping so much. Pastry cat. Cun, um, what, there's a cat somewhere? In behind you. Oh! Yes. There's yeah. a floofer. There's a loud floofer. Eh. Um, Pastry Cun, uh, thanks so much to all who contribute to everything that is high rollers. Much love, and thank you as well. Vid, Grip. I've uh, been watching on YouTube episode 1 to 72, and now I get to watch live. Super happy. Much love from the USA. Well, welcome to the live boys. Is that what they're calling them? There's VOD Squad and live... Live boys. Live boys. Live boys. Annie... Annie... Annie Stir, uh, with a half hundo. Thank you very much. Hi, guys. Thank you. It took a month. I'm finally caught up on both the rows and Strad, so I can finally watch live. Well, welcome to the live boys. I ordered a shirt, but hold out hope for a merch design of Lucius versus the cows. <laughs> oh my god. Let's not use it's live just a rolling cow. Let's think of, we should have like yeah, live... Yeah, something a bit more gender inclusive. Oh, it's boys with an I. That's neutral, isn't it? <laughs> no. It's or is it boys? <laughs> no. <laughs> is it not? not. Uh, live squad. Live, live... As uh, VOD squad. Live. Uh, booze. Mm. Live... Live... Live gang. Sounds like low gang, but it's live gang. <laughs> live gang! Oh, live gang no. for life! Oh, no. Live gang no, for life! Live, live gang no. for life! No. 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 Live for life. no. 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 Yeah, me. Don't want it. Um, drunk redneck. <laughs> Sorry, I can't catch the full stream. I'm on my way to fix water lines after my city was lit on fire and trashed last night. Stay safe, everyone. Well, yeah. oh my god. Uh, hopefully, it's... Not a horrible, horrible, horrible job. Um, <laughs> but also but good wishing luck. Best you of luck. safety and yeah, yeah. Wish, wishing you safety and some peace soon. Mm. Sheriff Aya, Sheriff Air, uh, with a quarter hundo. Evening, gang. Consider this donation as a bribe to roll twenty for nicer dice rolls. I mean, we're getting them today. I, I think. Uh, I work. After Thursday session. Okay. After Thursday session, we need. I think we used it yeah. all up. Katie uh, some of those got, rolls come up and for like all the shit rolls today. Katie's they, the mm. roll twenty was like. I feel like go, it's Katie. been a it's been a Here's couple a it's been a couple of weeks of terrible ones. So I feel like that was justified. I feel like I've yeah I've regained my trust uh, for roll twenty. That's D and D baby. That's D and D. Uh, have a great session. I hope uh, and don't have your minds sucked by space squids. Well, that is happening unfortunately. Um, Frank the NPC. Episode prediction, space snail battle. Quill loses another limb in combat. Not yet, but let's be honest, it's been too long. It's true. Uh, the rest of the crew discovers the true meaning of friendship, having your brain eaten by eldritch horrors. Oh, those wacky sloths. I don't think that's the definition of friendship for some reason, but hey, what do I know? Uh, the Alex Crandall. Um, there isn't much time. I have to get the truth out there before Mark catches up to me. If you don't hear from me, you'll know that it's too late. Valor is just space girly. Heed my warning, friends. Oh god, he's coming. End of transmission. Don't speak. That's <laughs> <laughs> just what you're gonna do, eh? Just Tom's gone. That's how, that's that's how, that's how I know I can get Tom now. I can just get I love Tom friend. with a bad friend. That's how you silenced him by just saying don't speak. <laughs> oh my god, I just spat everywhere doing that as well. Oh. Right, you go. You go get a drink or something, Tommy, and uh, try. Oh. You can read out anything from Yogs. Oh, Trot is back. The donations were over his screen. I didn't even see. All right, <laughs> Ty, I'll be back in a sec. Yeah, go wipe your mouth, you filthy animal. Oh, God. Trot, you're <laughs> muted. You're muted, Trot. <laughs> Nobody can hear you. Nobody knows. You. Oh. I love Tom's. You like go. he took his headphones and just went fuck off. <laughs> Olo Renve, <laughs> thanks for your donation. Much appreciated. <laughs> Interesting09 used a single bit. Thank you. I like the hair, Kim. Cheer. One. Love heart. Oh, thank there you. you go. Yeah, uh, Raging Rhino, 10101 donated. Psychic Space Battles. Woohoo! 
And then Woo! Ted Termite donated. Final Cup, y'all. Got me through some bad times. Is there somewhere I can make a larger, more personal dono? Uh, first of all, that's optional. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Yeah, However, absolutely. if you do want to do that, I recommend using the High Rollers donation button on our High Rollers D&D Twitch because uh, that, that goes directly to us. Yeah. Yeah. That's the full. Yeah. Whereas on Yogs, uh, Yogs obviously take a part yeah, yeah. because we are featured on Yogs as well. Um, yeah, which is and if you mean like, as well. if you mean like personal, if there's a message you want us to see but you don't want us to read out, just put that just, at the beginning just, of your message. Yeah. Um, just say yeah, that. Just like, yeah. please don't read this out. Yeah, just say don't read on stream, and we won't read it. Whoops. I accept cash in the mail. Mm, yeah. If you want to get really personal. <laughs> yeah. Just so you know. I accept bribes of Coca Cola and. Why does everyone have chocolate? Warhammer. God damn it. I, I, wish yeah, I, I feel like I, I, I missed out I on that memo. <laughs> I got Marmite peanuts, mate. Marmite peanuts. Oh, gross. This is the best I had. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're nice. I like those. Gross. Don't be giving me the gross. Marmite. Mm mm. -mm. Delicious. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -mm. Some of that salty goodness. That B12, baby. B12. Right. Yeah. We're just waiting for Tommy now. Now that Tom's gone, should we just right. fire him and replace him with his cat? Yes. Yeah. Like no. we need a big cat, right? No shit. Oh, he's, <laughs> like, he's got oh, two. Think... He's got two. We could have two cats. That replaces mm. one person, right? There you go. Two cats. Mm. The price of one Tom. I cut him off. Yeah. I, I'd pay the price. <laughs> what? If you cut him off. <laughs> <laughs> You're a what? cat now. Am I? Why is this screaming happened? like? Yeah. Because oh. I faded him I out. I was fucking with him. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh god, what's happened? Um, All right, everybody, have a nice little quick breaky. Nice little quick breaky break. Yes. Oh, yes. super quick. Yeah. Just one last thing. One last thing. Yeah. Um, big thank you to Downtown Alv97, Frank the NPC, Cooper Orc, uh, Llama Zord, The Neb, D Miller1841, and Recall. If that wasn't already said for the gift subs at the start, uh, I saw amount. there was a Thanks very much. ton. Like, yeah, there was a crazy amount of gift subs at the start, so thank you yeah, very much. It was Let's lovely. Thank you. Back to it. Thanks, everybody. Heart. Thanks, that everybody. Heart? That looks like a heart, right? Yeah, okay. Vaguely. Uh, great. Well, let's jump back into it to set the scene. Uh, if you're just joining us, or if you've forgotten what happened in the last five minutes. I know I do all that I all did. the time. Um, hmm. The party listening. are currently engaged in a deadly astral battle against a Ithilid Nautiloid, a Mind Flayer ship. In the astral sea Lord. it has attempted to grab and subdue the twin star longbow uh, several times however the party have managed to decimate its tentacles uh, they've managed to avoid its cannon fire and momentarily may even be able to escape at a fast velocity away from it however they have managed to send a number of creatures aboard which are now threatening the party um, and that is where we pick back up uh, starting with mm. Ayla, who is unfortunately currently paralyzed, uh, and at the end of their turn, may make a new saving throw. <laughs> Hello! Okay, I guess I'll do that. Um, 12. <laughs> 12 Probably is not. enough, actually. DC's uh, Ooh, only 11. Um, yep, Ooh, so you okay, managed to kind of like... Then. You kind of like grit your teeth and you... I'm having too much fun shooting things! <laughs> and you managed to break your limb free, um, but it's sadly at the end of your turn, so uh, yeah, That's but you fine. managed to break yourself free of that effect. Uh, Nova Nobody Vita. has to save me. <laughs> yeah. Um, so remind me what the penalties were for um, zero G being activated. Uh, disadvantage on attack rolls, and the ship has disadvantage on dexterity checks, like piloting checks. Okay, I'm just wondering whether to repair that first or boost first. But I really like Thalia, and I need her to tell me what to do at all times. So I'm going to. <laughs> if you didn't see it, by the way, uh, 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 my good mm. friend Victimon on Twitter yeah. did uh, some some art of Thalia. It was excellent. <clears throat> so good. It was very good. It's very good. Uh, yeah, it's very fun. It's pretty I, much I exactly how I imagined her. Yeah, yeah. The blouse area. Confirmed. Yeah, there is a uh, there. Uh, yeah, there's uh, some body parts hanging to the wind. Uh, we'll say. <laughs> uh, Baps. Uh, I rolled a seventeen. Seventeen, and what are you doing? Sorry. 
a boosty. You're doing a boosty. Tom, Sh don't speak. Uh... I think. <laughs> <laughs> so, Why? yeah, you divert power, sending it through into the uh, infernal engines of the Twin Star Longbow, and yeah, you are going to give Thalia a boost of speed on her next turn. And if I'm correct, the shields are currently down as well? Yeah, well, they got yeah. taken down, and then they that. blew up, no. so I've got to fix that <laughs> as well. <laughs> um, Great but this is the Anything fourth, else? This is the fourth boost, so we're going to suffer a power that is true. You time. suffer that immediate. Can you roll a d20 for me, please, Nova Vija, and add plus five. D20 plus five. I rolled Ooh. a two plus five is math Ooh. seven. Right. So, you manage to send through this extra burst of speed to the ship, but alarms start going off, and you see that the ship's engines are under incredible strain and are l running low on fuel and power. The ship l gains one level of exhaustion. exhaustion. Um, and in your engineer, I believe I've listed the effects of that. Uh, level Great. one yes. um, exhaustion for the ship is you lose 10 speed, I believe. Um, yeah. She told me to do it, though. So. She did tell you to do it. She, she said, did. She, she absolutely did. She said, don't worry about it, baby. <laughs> That's uh, what she said. Big Cat, uh, on Big head. Cat's turn, will attempt to bite uh, the Durgar that stamped him. Big Cat. Big cat. Is it better for him to claw or bite? Biting is better. Everything. Hum! Sinks, sinks his big teeth into uh, this creature for eight points of damage uh, as Big Cat bites down onto him. Um, and he will. Well, that's pretty much his turn. He's not super good in combat, is Big Cat. Um, the Durgars go. They will sense. Uh, uh, they sense a weakness um, potential. Uh, so they will. It's Quill. Yeah, there is one. This one Hollow will bones. move around Sentry. Won't provoke <laughs> an opportunity attack. Um, he'll circle I'm around sorry, Sentry, Tom. and then he will attempt to stab Quill twice. Um, I will protect. In fact, in fact, actually, these two Durgar will enlarge themselves just like Sentry. Ah! Oh my god! As their oh my form, god. Uh, they grow in. bigger in size. Everyone's huge except me and Lucius. <laughs> yeah. However, that is their action to grow big. So they just grow big. Okay, cool. Their action. Um, oh my god. Thalia on her turn the ship's will getting smaller. throw the ship into <laughs> a uh, desperate burst forward to try and get away from the Nautilus. She's going to dash. Um, she can only do a few of these um, before the ship needs to rest, but she's going to dash. She's going to use the boost of extra speed, um, but she also needs to make a pilot check with disadvantage. Uh, 14 is not enough. Um, she is The ship suffers another bad uh, blow as... Oh, uh, God! <laughs> Wait, not good. Goes to I only have so many hands! Um, no mishap. Yeah. Uh, no mishap because it wasn't over 20 points of damage, but the ship kind of careens to the side, throwing all of you kind of like stumbling. In fact, let's make this fun. Have everybody in the lounge make a, let's say, acrobatics oh, nice. check for me. Acrobatics? Yeah. Boy. Uh, you all have to fail because you're stunned. Natural 20! Oh, I failed you're automatically. Stunned. Yeah, you're stunned. No! How can you... Actually, no, that you're not paralyzed, so I think you aren't. I think you're just stunned, so you, that still goes through. I'm getting stunned and paralyzed confused. Uh, one can't move. going over. It says you can't move. That's uh, Both Durgar are going over. Big Cat is fine. Uh, who else is in there? Lucius, did you make a check? 20. You're fine. So the two Durgar become prone as they are, like, they slide across the floor and, like, collapse into a pile um, as the force of the shockwave and the the impact send them sprawling to the ground. What did you get, Sentry? Oh, Sentry, you're on 11. the ground too, I'm afraid. Yeah, so you're kind of, uh, you stumble to the ground um, <laughs> but Lucia, Quill and Big Cat stay on their feet, as does the uh, the aberrant creature in the middle. It's no, a kind I think of very Star fall. Trek. You're kind of, oh, okay, sure. I'm not going to argue with you. Um... As you're all kind of so like sent, move, stumbling right? to the ground, yeah, you're like doo, 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 as the ship uh, takes a hefty uh... pinball. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> just um, bouncing around. Then, 
Chill, chill, Let's chill, okay. chill. The who starts playing. That's <laughs> a pinball wizard. <laughs> so, uh, Thalia manages to gain 110 feet away from the Nautilus, which doesn't seem to have the same nice. um, like dashing speed as this ship does. Um, and so, yeah, they manage to start pulling away, um, and you can see her calling out, those of you in the lounge, she's like, Bim? Bim, for, uh, wake up! I need you to plot, find me a breach point. Bim! Bim! And she's just yelling at him. <laughs> Helpful. Uh, <laughs> Quillek Adkalar, you are next. So I can make a... What uh, check? Con to save? save? Con save at the start of your turn. Uh, natural 20, again. Nice. That's two natural nice. 20s in a row. Good job. You are no longer stunned, my friend. You are broken so I can, free. And I can take a full action, can I? Yeah, because it's at the start of your turn. Oh, wonderful. I didn't think... Of, I thought I was going to fail that. Um, what do I do? I will guiding bolt the uh, weird fleshy sack monster thing um, okay. at fourth level. So... Uh, uh, 28 to hit. That was a 19. Yes, that will hit, yes. 26, 26 damage. Radiant. Jesus. Man. Do I have any sort of light resistance? Uh, an adv advantage on the next hit against that. Yeah. yeah. Nice. No, yeah, just the, the, the energy slams into the, the floating aberration and sends it kind of reeling through the, the lounge. Um, and again, this intense scream just echoes throughout all of your minds um, as you're around this thing. Uh, just ah! right in the back of your oh. skull. Uh, yeah, I hate sentry, that. Unless there's anything else, Quillick? Uh, don't forget you lost Shield of... Oh no, you wouldn't. Uh, we didn't make a concentration check with Shield of Faith. Can you just roll a con save for me? Con save, sure. Uh, boom. Would I have... Natural one. Would I have had... Oh. Um... <laughs> Disadvantage on the Guiding Bolt, by the way. Yes, you would have. That's very true. Uh, okay. All this stuff, Tom. It's amazing. Yeah, thanks, chat. <laughs> a natural one again. Oh, dear. I had two oh, 20s in a row, a 19, dear. and then two ones in a row. Wow. So the Guiding Bolt does not hit the creature. Uh, it sails past into the gangway. Probably strikes near the engineering department. You hear Nova like hey! a big blast of white light uh, sails past. I rolled really two natural twenties right and now. two natural ones in one turn. <laughs> That's amazing. Good, good, good boy, Tom. Well, well done. Well played. Thank you, chat, um, for reminding me of that. That's I. I that stuff. Um, sentry. Hey, fair. Um, so I'm gonna use my action to stand up back up again. Yeah, it's only half your um, movement, so you don't need to spend your actions. Only half. half movement, stand up. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So then I can still. I'm gonna. Then I'm gonna attack the uh, guy in front of me and use divine yeah, smite. Yeah. You won't be able to get to the him. Durgars. Okay. No. So I'll use that dude. Okay. So I'll do. Well, the divine smite is if you hit. So let's see if you yeah. hit, and then you can choose what you want to do. Cool, cool. Man, it's been a while since cool. I've done some smackaroos. Smacking. Some smiting. Oh. <sighs> So four Ooh. plus that's a nine total. No, nine four plus nine, thirteen. Thirteen. But with uh, disadvantage. Disadvantage as well. Very yeah. True. So roll again. You might get lower. I don't. And that oh twenty God. on the that's second one. Now, now here Aww. they come. Here they come. Uh, I made an error <laughs> on its AC before. I had it as a thirteen. It's a fifteen. Um. So that mm. unfortunately misses. I made an error on that. All right. The, I think it was I mean. Tom who hit it. Uh, Lucius hit it. It, it was, was me. supposed to be fifteen. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not going to retcon that. That's my mistake. I the font was so tiny. I thought it said 13. Uh, it's a 15. Um, so yeah, essentially the Her Majesty's Rose uh, swings past, but it kind of floats itself backwards, and the the ship is kind of like tumbling and rumbling all around you um, as you are desperately trying to fight against this thing. But second attack. Yes, please. Uh... A disadvantage. Two oh, 11. eleven for both. So plus so nine that's, twenty. Uh, that's a hit. Twenty. Hey, yep. Cool. So one D eight plus five. Yep. Do that so damage. That's and then ten total points. damage. And then I will level two divine spite on top of that. Hey. Okay. So what's that? So that's three D eight. 
three d eight damage here. Eight oh, damage. So that's oh, man. ten. That's eighteen damage total. Still, the strike is enough that you kind of carve a section of the Her Majesty's thorns, kind of um, ripping at the the flesh of this creature um, as it rakes down its body. Uh, you feel the divine light of the Prime Matrix erupt. Do you out. not have the D four for the thorns? Well, that's true. Yeah, D four for the thorns. That's true. Also that. So that's not twenty one damage. Add, adds up. Adds up, man. Uh, yeah, it's so like you kind of. On Twitch chat. <laughs> yeah, basically, I'm not. I didn't. no. I'm this not. is this is just her. Th I know that she rolls a d4. Yeah. I yeah. can't remember. Yeah, she rolls a d4 I for think thorns. Yeah. Tom and Trot are the only ones that have it open anyway. Um, I rarely look the, at it. Uh, I'm just that guy. He is that guy. <laughs> uh, the the attack it's, hits and you again hear the stuff. screaming from the creature. Uh, anything else, Sentry? That was half your move uh, action. That's good. I'm just going to take a defensive pit position in front of the cockpit, make sure no one gets through. Okay, cool, then, cool, cool. Yeah, I'll give The creature in the center shall target Lucius, Quill, and Sentry as three eye stalks will fire. Lucius, first one to strike you. Uh, I need you to make an intelligent saving throw, please. Uh, you are not in range of Sentry's aura. You're at the okay. other end of the room. Hmm... Six. <laughs> well, <that's laughs> you have a plus one on intelligence saves? Yeah. He's not the smartest boy. Calling He's a charisma, good boy. yo. <laughs> oh, right. That will be 32 points of psychic damage, uh, Lucius, Virian, oh! Elowen, and Lasto, as this Holy beam God. hits you Holy and all the horrible... God. Thoughts, self-destructive thoughts, thoughts of uh, despair, of your parents, of everything just is brought right to the full center of your mind. And you feel like blood kind of trickle out your nose as your brain is is torn apart from the inside. Um, Quillek Adkalar, what beam shall hit you? Ooh, can you make a strength saving throw? Oh, my favorite. You get a plus 15. three. He does uh, another plus three for sentry. Uh, that's enough. You feel this beam from the, the creature <gasps> strike you, tries to telekinetically grab hold of you and restrain you, but you manage to kind of like throw it off and throw yourself to the side before it can fully lock its telekinetic grip around you um, uh, before that happens. And then sentry. Oh my god. That is a... I need you to make a charisma saving throw for me, please, sentry. Cool beans. 17 total 17 total with a 7 that's enough you managed to that's avoid 10. it This uh, the beam as it strikes you tries to create illusions in your mind of um, enemies and allies from you know parts of your memories but also figments of just creation um, but you recognize them as what they are and it no longer it doesn't inhibit your attacks or anything like that which is what it was cool. trying to do um, okay the big Nautiloid ship is uh, in a bit of a pickle now. It will attempt to boost. Um, it will basically mess up its engine by doing this. Uh, it succeeds. It makes a saving throw. It passes, um, which closes the gap by 30 feet, uh, putting you only 80 feet ahead. Um, but it's not within tentacle range. It will attempt to fire its uh, arcane lance at you for a natural 20. <sighs> Spicy. Oh. That's forty more points of hull damage. Oh. Uh, and to one seventeen. Uh, seventeen. Uh, Tom, can you roll a? Oh. oh I can. I'm well. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, can you roll another one, please? That's already in. Uh, sure. Two. <laughs> wow. Uh. So you, you, as the, the lance hits, you see it strike some part of the front of the ship near the cockpit. Thalia lets out a very loud, like, ah, shit. by the moon, like she's kind of like swearing and cursing. And you can see bits of smoke and, and sparks of magic coming out of the console. She's like, ah, uh, Nova dear, I don't seem to be able to turn the ship right now. This will be a oh. problem. Um, and it's just going in a straight line. It's still moving, but...
but it's just going in one straight line ahead, and you can see a huge spinning piece of chunk debris uh, ahead of you uh, as that you are currently hurtling Breaking. towards. Um, as it does, it's so not going into the wall you. of the sticks, are we? That is all it can do. No, you're not going into the wall of the sticks. Luckily, you are okay. still heading on course. Um, or would that be more exciting? No, it's no, <laughs> no. We've got like so how many mishaps do we have at the moment? You it. Three. You a few. Look, I'm that guy. I don't want to be <laughs> that guy. Uh, luckily, you are. That it can't do anything else with you at the current range that you are at. Um, so as long as you keep going fast, you can potentially outrun this thing. Gotta go fast. Um, gotta go fast. Uh, awesome. That is the Nautiloids go. Lucius Vivian Elowin Elenasto. I'm gonna be that guy. Yeah. Because Good. of what just happened, uh, Lucius is gonna fall to a knee and put his hand forward to attempt to instinctively cast a spell, but the acid that kind of flickers into energy in his glove kind of yeah. peters away and he just kind of slumps. Uh, and this he's gonna forego his action. Yeah, okay. You can have an issue. you can have inspiration. <laughs> you just kind really of like <laughs> Well got maybe him. but <laughs> No, it's not got me at all. Um, but yeah, you, you just, just yeah, you just watch. Uh, she's currently up in the turret. Um, I should have done her on Thalia's turn, actually. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, if, has Bim saved? Sure. Bim hasn't moved in a while. Yeah, Bim hasn't moved in a while. No, no, he hasn't. He hasn't moved in a while or He's saved. He's just chilling no. on the floor. Has he saved? Uh, Kyrie shoots and hits with another natural 20. Nice. Wonderful. Um, she's uh, like, did you empower, did her? empower her? Yeah, I empowered her, yeah. Because she you didn't take her turn because no she pushed Lucius out. That's yeah. Right. That's 15. Plus yeah. 79 points of damage to the whole nice. of the, uh, the Nautiloid. Uh, Amazing. So that's, that's why I was waiting. That's why I was asking because I was like. No, no, no. Good reminder. Good, good reminder, dude. Um, tell you what, Kim, roll a d20 for a mishap on their ship. Yeah, bitches. Yay. 16. 16. You see Kyrie uh, takes very careful aim and the sudden surge of power, she strikes at a vulnerable point on the ship's armor and just strips most of that armor away um, as the arcane lance just careens down, um, rendering its hull, uh, giving it a huge hull breach, which reduces oh, its hello. damage threshold uh, whilst it is in place. Um, and you can see nice. the, uh, the Nautiloid does not seem very pleased with this turn of events um, as it does so. Uh, Lucius, yeah, you are just overwhelmed by these thoughts and uh, the images that it's created and this lingering pain, like you can, like the blood doesn't stop pouring out of your nose, this ringing in your ears, you feel like you've had the worst headache that you've ever had in your life. Uh, it's very unpleasant. Ayla. You can hear can all sorts I... of... Can I... Can I, um... Messenger ring Nova and just say, Hey, buddy, do you need any muscle back there? <laughs> keep shooting! Okay, and I'll keep shooting then. Um, okay. Uh, You're going to shoot for the main six. ship? Yes, please. Okay. 12 plus 6. That's a hit. 18. That's a hit. And... That's a hit. 18 plus 6. So... Both hit. Two hits. 21 damage mm. on the first one. Not 21, yep. Yeah. Okay. And... <gasps> wait. Oh, that's 3d20, that's sorry. No, ignore that, ignore <laughs> that, ignore that. that I got prematurely amazing. excited there. Uh, 17 on the second one. 17. So that's... Uh, roll the d20 because you caused another mishap with the 21. Nice. Um, while I nice. work this out. 6. Six. That's, I think, a good one. Um, engine rupture. The engine. The ship speed decreases by thirty until this mishap is fixed. So you oh, see nice. that the Northloid begins slowing down as your en as your energy uh, weapon strikes into the back where these kind of large sails and kind of pulsing violet engines are. Um, and yeah, you see it begin to slow down as you do so. Very easy to shoot Vita. when Alia's not spinning around. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I'll just, I'll, I guess I'll just messenger everyone and be like, hey, buddies, if you um, if you need me, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to kind of keep shooting this thing. It seems to be working quite quite well. That's all I'll do. Right, Nova. Um, can I fix the helm problem from where I am, or do I need to go up there? Uh, no, no, you can fix it from where you are. Yes, you can fix it. Okay, from where in you the are. case, you can fix I will take the repair action. Uh, okay, this is a repair. dexterity check uh, oh, for this particular. Oh, there's no check in each... the text I've No, got. there's not. No, no, because you wouldn't know what you'd need until you had to try and fix it. So you find that with this problem, um, this is very fine detail. Like you have to like reach your hands into narrow spaces to kind of repair very small parts of the ship, and it's very fine work where you're having to like realign tiny crystals to restore the controls. So it is a just a straight dexterity check. So d20 plus your dexterity. Orton! Power. Or sleight of hand. Oh. Are you sure? Damn. Orton. 15 plus yeah. whatever your bonus is. So, uh, so my bonus is plus three. So 18. 18. 18. That is enough to repair it. You repair this Don't mishap. Roll to see uh, uh, can I roll? Can I roll? I'm going to roll. Yeah, go roll. ahead. Yeah, you just roll d20. I can't stop you rolling your d20. Ten. There you go. See, worked out <laughs> hey. um, that would not have been a success if that had been your no. roll. Um, so yeah, the, uh, can I um, say? you see uh, the ship does lurch a bit more now that, because while it was flying straight, you didn't have disadvantage on any of your attack rolls because it wasn't like rocking backwards and forwards. But now that is like, oh great. And then it starts rocking the whole ship around again. And so <laughs> Um, but she is dodging, well, ducking, diving. Into a giant asteroid. So. <laughs> yeah, that's that's very much it. You would have hit that on your next yeah. turn, basically. Um, the next on Thalia's next turn. Uh, cool, great job, Nova. Uh, big cat. One a million. Uh, big cat will leap on the very heavily injured uh, Durgar. This one, uh, he just runs forward and tries to pounce onto him with a hit. Uh, for six points of damage. Sadly, not enough to finish him off, but enough to heavily weaken him. As he leaps onto the large Durgar, bites down with his big uh, teeth and fangs, and rips into grey flesh. The Durgar doesn't react to any of it, however. Um, both Durgar will vanish from sight. Oh. Uh, they, their forms right. seem to shimmer and shift in the air, and then they vanish from view. They're bailing out. Um, maybe. You don't know. Thalia, on her turn, will attempt to make a pilot in check with disadvantage. That sucks. Um, it's on my another... list of things to fix. <laughs> so she manages to just about avoid the large, uh, large piece of debris ahead, but the wing scrapes along it. Ayla, you have a very uncomfortable, like... Um, um, as the turret gets very close to a piece of thing and just scrapes along no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, that's gonna have done some damage there. Oh, no. Uh, uh, but you are otherwise unscathed. Not enough to cause a mishap, either. Um, uh, for now. Quillock, add Kalan. And then she's gonna basically dash again. Um, which will give you another... Uh, slowed down by 130. Hang on, I gotta work something out. 120. 200. No boost. As the twin star is gaining very quickly away from this other ship. Um, out of range of weapons. So, Quillic Ad Kalar. Perfect. I'm going to hold my uh, Dusk Willow ring out, Green Lantern style, and cast Fairy Fire. Oh. Um, 60 foot range, 20 foot cube. Where Can I hit where the... I hit where the Durgar were, like if I move in such a way, like maybe like here, I think it was here, um, mm -hmm. kind of point it and try and hit both of the, I guess, now invisible Durgar. I will say, because if they are mm, they're large creatures, yes, sure, sure you can. Okay, sure. they make a deck save anyway. Oh, is that what to, if it affects them? Yeah, I was just hoping to hit, get them in the range of it, uh, but they make a dexterity yeah. save. Okay, I will make a deck saving throw for uh, the injured one. Uh, that is a... Ooh, that's 17. Oh, just. Okay, he's invisible. Next one is... Oh. Yeah, succeeds. Oh, damn it. So that's annoying. Whatever they do, you kind of hear like heavy footsteps, but yeah, they manage to avoid. They see you casting the spell. You hear them moving around, and you they're not where you think they were going to be. Um, 
However, I think you would still okay. catch the mind as well. Uh, oh, sorry, the aberration creature. Um, yeah, and you does still, you, it gives you advantage if you oh, can. It gives you advantage yeah. Because it lights it up like a little beacon. Yeah, I've never used fairy fire before, but yeah, anything affected by it, everyone has advantage on it for like a minute it as is. well. Yeah, it's a good spell. Nice. I've used it a lot with some of my characters. Cool. Uh, well, the Mind Witnesses is, is, uh, had it wreathed. <laughs> it is wreathed in colorful lights that make it easier to hit, but the Durgar are still hidden somewhere. Uh, anything else, Quillic? Uh, no, that's everything. I guess I'll continue my movement round to just go back towards Lucius a little bit as well. Um, okay. And that's it. Sentry. Cool. Well, I've got advantage, so I'm going to smack on the big pink doom monster. See who will play. Yeah. Uh, oh, that 20 on oh, first 20. one. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Oh, my God. I would assume, Rhiannon, you would like to make that a divine smite. Yes, please. Level three, please. Yeah, I thought that oh, might be my the case. God. So what's your normal damage? It's normally... What's your normal damage? So my damage? normal damage is D8 plus five. Plus and four. And then the D4 as, as well. well. Um, so D8 plus and another D4 for so my enlarge as well. Oh fuck yeah, you're right. Hang on, okay. So D8, so eight <laughs> max damage, four for the so thorns, 13, four thing. So 16, 17. well, just 16 base damage max, plus five is it you said? Plus five, yeah. So 21 base damage. Now roll the dice of that. So one D8 and two D4. Roll that now. D8 and 2d4. Ah! Max damage on the d8. <laughs> Holy shit. 14. 6 on 2d4. Right. Now, the third level oh Divine Smite. How many d8s is that? So that'll be 4, I think, won't it? So it's 2d8 for level 1, 3d8 for level 2, 4d8s, yeah. So 4d8s. So that's another 16, 32 max. Now roll 4d8. These crit rules. If I hit you with a crit, it's the worst thing ever, but you guys can just annihilate monsters with this as well. <laughs> what we have there is That's 21 48. plus 14 plus 32 plus 16. So <laughs> that is 35. Uh, oh my god. 32, 67 plus another 16 is 73, 83 points of damage sentry. <laughs> Oh, oh wow. my god. That's one that's yeah. one attack, by the way. That's one attack. That's a crit with a third level divine smite, dude. Um with <laughs> enlarge. It's the fact that you had your enlarge going as well. Yeah. And you've got like Her Majesty's Rose, which deals extra damage. And I you've don't know if that's the biggest hit yet. Uh it's not. It I think be. Ayla's done that, I think. Because she she gets I've bonus done, yeah. crit damage. Blight. And Nova's oh, yeah. done with blight as well. Yeah. Um, I think I did it. Yeah. I think I got one on a hammer throw once, yeah. which was. I think you got a crit, yeah. and then it I got a crit on light as well. The the thing in the middle just is mulched. Like the sword goes through the yeah. milky white oh. eye, and then with a couple of like sweeps, it's just cut into pieces as it is just oh. annihilated. Oh. Damn. <sighs> I imagine oh, it's like one of those egg things. Those, you know, in England, the the egg, the chocolate egg with the gooey center, and it's just cream like, egg. yeah. Oh, cream oh, egg. That one. That one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's How one attack entry. Cream egg. Jesus. <laughs> mm, oh, I'm um, hungry. I don't. I don't know where the Durgar are. Do I? You don't. You can still, still attack them, but you have disadvantage. Okay. Well, I'll, yeah, I'll give it a go. Why not? You can basically so think. I'll I try... think they're here. I'll attack. A two. Yeah, so, it's a two. Seven total. <laughs> you said you, you two. can't. Yeah, you you swing. I but think yeah, you more you than just... made up for it. With well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Uh, you can't dispute it's, that. It's, that was amazing. It would have been the mind witnesses go, but it's dead now. So how, how much health does it have total? Total seventy five. Since you would have killed it in one hit. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, these Over monsters here. are. Cool. Like, these these monsters are not meant to be super challenging for you. Uh, this encounter was a whilst the rest of you are doing other things, yeah. like only a couple oh, of yeah. you are going to be able to fight it. This is not a encounter for a party of level eleven character or level ten characters. This was a, a minor inconvenience while you were doing other things. Uh, the Nautiloid ship 
has no way of now catching the twin star with its engines <laughs> broken it's going to have to repair them uh the twin star is faster now that it just is not going to be able to catch it so you just literally have these two durgar and then you are potentially in the clear um bim still hasn't moved uh lucius i don't see bim, bim is 10 out of 10 dead angle. <laughs> might I'm be going to uh collect my thoughts uh shake it off stand up and i'm going to cast lucius's luscious light in oh. this area which uh, is uh, what's the range on lucius's luscious light hard to say in it um i don't think it is uh, it's 20 <laughs> foot 20 foot sphere 20 foot radius or 20 foot uh, sphere radius sphere right it's that's 20 40 foot radius feet sphere. which is like this Oh, yeah. like well, the can I put room. A bit big, can I put it more right so that it's... Don't like blind it? me! Remember, it's a sphere, so those corners will be cut off. Yeah, that's true. I, I forgot to do Alt-Tab, which is how I need it. Uh, Alt, which is how you make it. You can center it on, like, the door, and I don't think it would hit big cat on me. So it's kind of like... If you go right it's one... that big. Like here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? You can place it there? Yeah? Yes, please. Thank okay. you. And um, any creature that starts their turn on it takes 2d6 cold and ends their turn, it's 2d6 acid. And you're blind to dwell in it. Okay. That's my go. Astral Sphere. Okay. Kiri, Kiri needs to go. Uh, she does on thing. Well, she can't really do anything because the ship's now out of weapons range. So she just kind of pokes her head down. Um, maybe starts rummaging in her weapon pile to find a suitable weapon. <laughs> She's like, ah, you can hear like clatter of like mace. No gun. No, I might hit the others. Uh, and she's like going through like various <laughs> things like, oh, a sword. And then she begins pulling that out of her pile. Um, cool. Uh, Ayla. You see the Nautiloid getting smaller and smaller. Find. It's out of my range now, so I can't shoot anymore. My fun is over. Um... My fun is over. No more fun for you. <laughs> Got your hammer. I will... Yes, I will come downstairs into the main lounge area. However, mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on, so... I you guess arrive. I'm just gonna... There is a, a giant glowing ball of orange and blue that fills up half of the room. Uh, big Cat has got a big crimson streak down him and what looks like a stab wound. Sentry's massive and covered in pinky, fleshy bits. Goo. Um, <laughs> like goo. Uh, and then Quill and uh, Lucius are on the other side of the room looking a bit scared. <laughs> yeah, that's us. <laughs> Scaredy boys. <laughs> Nancy Drew and the Scaredy Boys. Are you boys. floating as well? Uh, it's kind of still just like, ooh, it's not quite full, yeah. like, gravity's off, but it's kind of um, fucked up. Okay. Can I... <laughs> um, <laughs> obviously, there's... There's um, something in the giant ball of light. Could I potentially... I don't know if this works. But could I potentially go in... Swing a couple of times and then move back out of Lucius's thing. So I'm technically not starting or ending my turn in it. I just have oh. disadvantage to hit. Keep in mind that this, like, we don't have a grid here. So to move into that would be about 30 feet. Um, I've got 45 to, like, feet get... movement. Okay, so then you could probably just, just get on the very edge of it. Like, you could be next to Sentry. You could probably, like, come in and then duck out. Can I do that? I'll just have disadvantage yeah. for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you'd be blind. You're blinded in there, so you're at disadvantage anyway. Um, so first attack. Uh, anyway, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, invisible anyway. Six, Swing the hammer around. Fifteen? No. Fifteen? Um, oh, because not plus nine, yeah. Plus no. nine. But even fifteen. Fifteen, you don't hit anything. Uh, second hit, nine plus eighteen? You don't hit anything. And it's still at disadvantage. Oh, you did. It was 19. I was no, you don't. You, you, yeah, you, you swing. There's nothing in the space. Like, you kind of go That's in there fine. swinging your hammer around. 
But you're like, I'll just you're like John as Travolta. long as I'm out of it again, I'm good. Yeah. And you duck out. I tried. Uh, just I just like kind of skirting the edge and then pop out. Where are they? Uh, they're just for, they're just further in. I can't get to them. Maybe mm. or are they? I assume. Or are they? Nova Vija. <laughs> Have they taken a turn? <laughs> no, not yet. Oh. Can I spend my turn? Because I don't know they anything that's going on. And then you don't know yeah. what was going on. Well, I didn't even technically know that there was a board. Like, I knew no, there was a boarding party, but I didn't know what they were. You're still so in the engine I'm... room with stuff like whoop, 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 sparking, <laughs> flying, ah! mildly stressed, um, but also kind of thriving on it. Um, can I spend my turn <laughs> repairing the dampeners, please? Yes, damp. Inertial dampener malfunction. Uh, this is an intelligence, but it's very difficult. This is very delicate magitech. Um, so this is a tough roll. DC is 20 to repair this, and it's intelligence. Wow. You can use Arcana. If you have a bonus to Arcana, you can use your oh. Arcana. I will use my Arcana then, because that is plus 8. I would like to do that then. 24. Oh. Oh, Even nice. despite the challenge of this, this requires calculations. This requires... Um, redirecting magical flow, and with Tiangong in your hand, you can study and control the magic enough to realign it and set it, and you feel the whole ship suddenly kind of lurch, and everybody else feels, oh, everything's just gone back to normal. Like, the room is no longer shaking and shuddering. Um, everything seems to be uh, like it once was um, as Nova finishes her repairs. Nice. Anything else, Nova? Um... No, because I guess she's still there's still one more mishap to fix, so she's probably still lost in like engineering world. Yeah. I think she'd be too focused to really take stock of anything else. Sure. Uh, Big Cat's turn. Big Cat will start sniffing the air. He's like <laughs> sniffing around. He's gonna make a perception check uh, for an eighteen. I will roll a stealth check with disadvantage. Uh, with advantage, sorry. Um, and you can see him kind of prowling around. Uh, he moves up towards, he doesn't, this light, he doesn't like it. He kind of backs off. Um, he like moves over here. You can see him sniffing the ground and he kind of swipes at the corner. There's nothing there. And he's just like. Okay. And he's padding around mm. trying to find where these, where these enemies are. Um, but he doesn't have to wait long because they appear. Ooh, one exolucious. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, and the other one, one appears in the corner. far corner, which Ayla had uh, just walked past, not knowing that there was an enemy just behind her. Um, I assume they didn't start oh, so their did they, turn there. They would have had to they have started didn't. their turn some... Nope. Oh, okay. No. Yeah, they did. They, they started. Let me show you what happened. So they turned invisible. They then still had their movement. This guy moved here. Oh. This guy moved here. And you summoned the thing where it was. And now they're appearing oh, so to make their attack. So my thing would have missed anyway, then. Yeah, but you yeah. still rolled the saving throws because you wouldn't have known that. So yeah, but it gave That's sentry good. advantage was... on the thing, it... the other thing. Yeah. Was that? Yeah, I was Kim? mildly afraid that they were coming for <laughs> engineering, like I don't know, to try and cripple yeah. the engines or something like that. So no, these guys—they're not acting with any degree of intelligence. They are just—they right. have clearly been given an order to just either kill or just subdue Stop. everybody on the ship and that's what they're doing mm. um, and that is in fact what they do uh lucius uh one attacks you it has advantage because it attacked while it was still invisible that is a total of does it beat 12 because uh, that's a raw 17 there it's that is it does beat a 12 <laughs> so it hits um yeah. and well i've got to roll the advantage because uh, you know the crit might happen this is what the 2d6 plus 3 plus 2d6 plus sneak attack 46 plus 3 uh plus uh a d4 so they're enlarged that is 16 points of damage lucius uh would okay. that reduce you to zero no are you still up okay i'm still uh, and then he makes a second attack but this one is not with advantage uh but that's okay. only a 10 yay it's not enough you kind of duck under as this Yay! second blow as this very robotic Durgar is kind of slashing and smashing around but it does look like it was trying to subdue you not kill you um it was trying to like knock you out uh, and things like that um and then it does huh. the, but the one attacking big cat is trying to kill um it is not trying to doesn't care uh, hide its intentions uh he sadly hits uh 46 plus 3 
plus a B4. Uh, for 17 points to Big Cat. Big Cat is up, but you can see he's heavily wounded. Now these two big uh, red streaks all along his side. You can see he kind of clutches his paws. He's backing up into the corner, hissing and kind of like, mm -hmm. and his face is contorted in anger. If Big Cat dies, I riot. That's it. <laughs> quit. Just quit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Thalia, as there is no immediate danger, will check on Bim. And now I have to roll Bim's death saving throws. Uh, uh, oh. he, he, okay. Nobody healed him after he had his brain melted. So, um, Well, I guess no one knew that. No one nobody knew, knew he was dead. That, right? Yeah, nobody like, knew. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's not your guys' fault. It's just, it. yeah. All right, first one. Oh, that's a two. That's a failure. Uh, fail. Second one, that's uh. a failure. Oh, oh my god, god. he's dead. dead. No! Uh, yeah, Thalia's like, hey, come on. Come on, you stupid imp. I need you. Wake up. Bim? Bim. That's what you hear from the cockpit. Uh, Fucking. God damn. Kyrie will, Kyrie will swoop down and we she's going a... to attack the Durgar. He was the navigator. <laughs> Not anymore. Uh, so Kyrie comes sweeping down. She will attack twice. Um, this is with her. She's not super good. She fucking hits though. I'll tell you that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> D8 plus one for four points of damage to Durgar A. Uh, Oh no, to Dugar B, sorry, who is the uninjured one. So she streaks down, seeing him picking on Lucius, and you just hear this kind of like, Ah! Get, it, get away! And then psh, psh, she kind of swipes at him twice. Uh, first time she hits, second time uh, is a miss, sadly. The Dugar manages to throw himself backwards. Or he is struck. Quillock and Kalar. No, I recognized her death, uh, her, her shriek there, not death shriek. Um... <laughs> She speaks Orin too, I see. Maybe. Uh, right, so... It, I know it's gaming it, but... Of Lucius and Big Cat, uh, he's looking worse for wear. I'm pretty bad. So is Big Cat. Yeah. yeah. Save the NPC, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> I mean, dude, it's Big Cat. It's Big Cat. <laughs> it is Big Cat. Here's a question. I know Tom wants to save Big Cat, but would Quill save Big Cat? Good point. I will heal uh, Lucius. I mean, Lucius means more than Big Cat, but he's Big Cat. I'm going to let him in the Big yeah, Cat. Tom wa Tom, we know Tom wants to save Big Cat. Yeah. But Quill oh, has hold the phone. Lucius first. Hold the phone. I'm gonna at fifth level. I'm gonna do a mass healing word. Hey, oh. boom, boom. Nice. Won't help so every If only you'd cast that. If only you'd cast that several rounds earlier. Bim you know, will be alive. I didn't know you were down. Wow. Four or five rounds earlier might have saved Bim. Porque no los I didn't know you were down. He's not moving. <laughs> Yeah, yeah but fair, is, none of us would know just because we weren't we were paralyzed like Sentry, but. No, not even yeah, that. Exactly. No, he didn't. We didn't even know that. Uh, I don't Sentry think. Did. Sentry did. But yes, Sentry was Sentry. paralyzed. <laughs> Sentry was paralyzed. Yeah, Sentry was paralyzed. I was paralyzed. <laughs> then I there you go. Okay, I'll say it. Well, hit points. You could all be dead. <laughs> Twelve hit points to everyone. Yeah. Six creatures of my choice. Well, I certainly thought the creatures. fifth level math healing word was going to be better than that, but. That's cool. It hits everyone. It's healing word, dude. It's D4s. It was 3D4 plus How much 5, was that? and you rolled a 1 and a 2. 12. Uh, 12. Yeah, that was a bad That was a bad roll. Uh, yeah, 12 to everyone. Don't need it. Sentry. Um, Unless there's anything else, Quill. Uh, that was a bonus action. I, oh, actually, I could action. You can uh, catch it. <laughs> I <laughs> I'll do a sacred flame to the one attacking Lucius. Okay, that's the uninjured one. The one attacking Big Cat is the one who's been heavily injured. 
Really? Heavily injured? I'll do the <laughs> Sacred Flame to the one attacking Big Cat then. 18. Oh, <laughs> oh Quill. It saves uh, the deck doesn't work then, fine. Um, okay. Um, I will... I will move up to this dude, and I will... Yep. I will give him one, two, smackaroo, please. Okay. Bam. Big, big cat, not Rufus. So that's nine for the first one. 13, yeah, that's and not going to hit. 17 for the second one. That will hit. Nice! So 1d8 plus 5, and I'll do a level 2 divine smite on this guy. Okay. Well, sorry, ignore that. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's a... Uh... Seven damage, plus the divine smite. Yeah, plus your don't forget your D four for thorns, D four for enlarged as well. Two D four, max yep. damage. So that's and then th God, I keep losing track. Three D eight. Yeah, because it's two D eight for a first level, and then it's an extra D eight yeah. for every spell slot after. Yeah, so yeah. Oh yeah, he dead. Yeah, he he was oh. he was dead. The second your sword hit this man, uh, you just ram it through nice. his body and it just, he's gone. You see that when he dies, the kind of um, piece of metal around the back of his head um, disconnects um, and his eyes go from being pure white to having um, like, actually no, Durgar just have pure white eyes. But yeah, the thing disconnects from his, his head and he just slumps to the floor. Cool. Uh, you still have movement and an action. Uh, you still have an attack and movement, movement. and an action. Okay. You could do like and I'll that move up and on this guy. this guy. Yeah, because you're big. You've I got will a bit do of that. reach as well. Nice. Sure. So, so that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 to hit. That's a hit. Nice. And twice I'll on do the, big the guy. same again. Huh? We well, attack twice, twice on the big guy. Every turn. Yeah. The big guy oh, died in one the first, first hit. No. No, the oh. first hit killed the mind witness. And then she attacked okay. nothing because she couldn't she had disadvantage to attack the Durga. Mind witness. Okay, fair enough. Mind Googling. Witness. You can look that up. You can look it up on D D Beyond Chris Trot. Wow, what a great feature. <laughs> Ten damage. <laughs> and then how many damage. spell slots do I have left? No, I think and then I'll do rolled, a level one device. She rolled a four, so she missed she missed the first attack on the on other what? on the guy that she just killed. Yeah, four. Uh, Entry uh, missed the first attack. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh yeah. Fine. Yes, I All did. Because right. okay. it wasn't hey, Katie. disadvantage. Katie, we're, we're both that guy now. Oh, it's, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> so she Sentry moves up, but doesn't. Yay! Miss attack. We, we don't need <laughs> no. to linger on it. We've all been that uh, guy no, this session. It's fine. Lucius. Yeah. I haven't. Of me. Lucius is going to disengage. Uh, okay. He's going to dismiss his big ball of light. Mm -hmm. Move to about here, if that's about 30 foot. Mm -hmm. And then use Quicken Spell, so two sorcery points, to cast Chromatic Orb Acid on the Durgar. It's a bonus action. Pretty, pretty smart. I will say. Disengage as an action. Move. <laughs> bonus action. Oh, quick clever. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god. Very good. Well, two, right. 20 plus I eight. Like range. Eight. That's Sixteen. Lovely. That's a hitting. That's a hit. That's a hitting. That's the phrase. Seventeen points of acid damage. Dichromancy uh, of five on the same Durgar, please. I've got it. He 22. looks incredible like the acid washes over parts of his body the hand holding the hand crossbow is just blackened um most of the heart the same half of his body is just covered in this viscous goo which is sizzling through his armor and flesh but just no noise no reaction just a dogged purpose um seems to be intent on attacking uh lucius it seems um ayla we jump back up to you hello I will... You can see an enemy now. Oh, yeah, I will bonus action rage. And then I oh, will... <laughs> right. Yeah, but I haven't used any. I, I haven't this. used any I hate this guy! <laughs> I'll, um... This guy in particular. <laughs> Fuck this 
Yeah, yeah I'll yep. recklessly attack. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right. 19 plus 9. Okay, yeah, I don't want to steal. I don't want to rob you of rolling loads of cool damage. Let me! This guy's dead. Yeah, sure, you go for oh, it. Oh, I rolled a 1 on that. Oh, I mean, maybe. Maybe uh, he will survive. Wait, 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 yeah. Then the second attack probably so misses. You don't need the second. You don't, Katie. You don't need oh. the second attack. The first hammer Good. blow oh, yeah. annihilates this guy. <laughs> Even with a one on the damage, you still just whatever le strength was left in his body, you drive it out of him with a one whopping blow that sends him smashing into the wall of the ship, um, and he just slumps Ugh. to the back. The thing disconnects from his head, uh, and he just lies there still, mm -hmm. blood. And that is out of initiative, everyone. You that's we, oh, we you did it. Man. That was a very Don't intense. Was a very long combat. Combat. <laughs> well, that's the thing. So now you're not in combat. Um Thalia is things. not piloting. She's just looking at Bim. Um but yeah, you can if you just want to fix stuff, you don't need to make checks. You can just take time cool. to do it. It will just you know, it takes you like ten minutes to slowly yes. be like, right, okay, I think I can fix this and I can fix that and take yeah. some time. Um yeah. I'll do that. Um, yeah, and I run into the bat. cockpit and yeah. it's like, I can I can break the spell on him. I can break the spell. Thalia's just, she doesn't even just look up and she's just like, there's no spell. He's, he's dead. He's gone. Oh. Oh. Um. Oh. <laughs> uh. um, she notices that when he fell over his little glasses fell off and she just picks them up and holds them in her hand just folds them up it's weird he uh he's an imp you know these uh they're little shits really uh, they're sorry hang on i need to do a voice they're little shits really they they cause nuisance, always looking for ways to get promoted into being bigger, better devils. Not him. He just, uh, he was just quite content learning about everything, really. Bit of a kindred soul, in a way. Bit of an outcast. She just goes to the front little cockpit where she's got loads of little ornaments and trinkets just places places the little glasses there should uh, I should make sure that uh, I don't know what happens to devils when they die outside of their planes I heard that they go back but he should have he should have disappeared by now perhaps it's because of where we are Kind of reaches down, takes the flask that she keeps in her chair, uncorks it. Seems silly. Being upset over a little imp. <laughs> hey everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Tom disconnected one there. <laughs> he disconnected so for the whole time. And it was, frame. It was, it was just him well. looking <laughs> mega guilty. Yeah. I don't know what I missed. <laughs> I, I haven't. It was a really it's dead. Been... disconnected. It was a very, this very poignant, very very poignant little moment you missed. Yeah, okay. yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the whole time I'll you were you, just I'll like, if you a recap, Tom. Uh, yeah, Thalia basically. <laughs> tells you that he's dead, that it's not a spell. She's just like, he's dead. Uh, she notices that his little glasses have fallen off and she picks them up, holds them up, um, says a few words, and then puts her the little glasses on a on a little shelf. And, uh, and she goes back and she starts, just picks up his body and she begins making her way into the lounge. I don't say anything that entire scene. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. I'm Clearly you didn't. No one did. I'm just, oh, man, just, I'm just, just so, I'm so sorry, Jim. It was your it's frozen, still face that was. It was, yeah, it was the like, worst face like, frame. When you, oh, when you came back, Bim. it was like. I'm so sorry, Bim. The internet ruined that. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah. The rest of you see Thalia kind of oh, come man. in holding this little little imp's body. I, I'm so sorry. Uh, it, we were caught up. Uh, I wish there was more we could have done. She looks at you. These yellow serpentine eyes. The he- the snakes have all kind of like gone perfectly still and are just kind of like just gently curling around her neck. You can see them like their little tongues kind of like licking against her kind of slightly greenish hued scales. She smiles like a proper sort of like Yeah, this is this is the Astral Sea, my dear uh, Lucius. Uh, we never see these sorts of things coming. It's a risk we all have to take. Obviously, I would have liked to have saved him, but uh, I just thought he was frozen like Sentry was. I'll make sure that... Uh, well, I think it perhaps best that... Um, I'm I'm going to set him adrift uh, here. I think it's... Well, there's nowhere else for him to go. You might want to go and let your friend Nova know. I think her and Bim got on quite well. She takes another big, long sip of her flask. <clears throat> I think probably at this right. point, Nova would uh, start like come like come out from the engineering, just like wiping her face with her scarf, like, "Oh, gee whiz! I guess we're done. I haven't heard any more screaming or bangs. I think I fixed the shields. Oh, so much. Sh- what? What?" No, what? What? What's going on? What's what's happening? Uh, Bim fell in in this fight. Unfortunately, everyone got paralyzed of some sort, and we were all you... caught up. And he he hit he's... his head. He hit his head. He's unconscious, right? He's unconscious. He just needs to sleep, right? I can help. Mm. I can help. I have I have spare the dying. I have spare the dying. I can. I got healing potions. It's fine. It's fine. Nova, I'm gonna. Grip he was just telling me about the planar travel. He was telling me about everything. <laughs> Trot's just like shut up. <laughs> he he's gone. He's gone over to the astral ether. Uh, he's at rest. He helped. I assume I wasn't around. I didn't actually see if he did anything. It could have been completely pointless. I don't say that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't say that. <laughs> An imp died, drop. <laughs> yeah, one imp. One imp. I love. I love how guys, you guys are like totally buying into how serious it is. Like to everybody else, this is one fucking imp. But it's just like that. Yeah, Nova would be we devastated. Like... She just made a yeah, best yeah. friend. Yeah. Thalia just looks at Thalia looks at Nova and is just uh, like after hearing what Lucius like says about like the Ethan, she's just like you can see that there's a kind of like uh, that's very nice of you to say, Lucius. It's the A word, astral. Yeah. <laughs> Takes all the boxes. Sadly, sadly, this is it. He was he, he's never been a particularly sturdy fellow. But it's just time to say goodbye now. She goes over to where there is a hatch, like an opening, which leads out onto the little gangway that leads up into the ship. Just opens it, kind of hits a button. It kind of, you hear like a... She steps down a few steps, and you can see her like hanging out into this corridor, the vortex of the sticks around her. And she just looks... Let's his body go, and you just see this little imp body float and tumble out into it. <laughs> she <laughs> takes it <laughs> back up. Just what hits is a windscreen. Rhiannon is Rhiannon is like gone. <laughs> <laughs> Rhiannon is gone. Anybody oh my want God, to you know. ever well, the difference between shows like High Rollers and perhaps some of the more emotive <laughs> actory shows that you've seen. No, we laugh when NPCs die. You we just, we just it was laugh. Just an imp. <laughs> yeah, it's just an imp. I mean, we don't. I know. We don't usually. But I mean, I don't know what triggered that What's there. What's wrong with Rhiannon, you? Rhiannon, <laughs> please enlighten me. <laughs> Rhiannon, what, what just did it? <laughs> <laughs> I just got the vanilla image of this little red guy just flowing through his face. <laughs> his arms 
arms and legs to just tumble That's around. exactly what happens, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I don't know why I found that so funny. It just... <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, Talia, oh. Talia shuts the door behind oh, sorry. her. Um, sorry, Bim. <laughs> Talia shuts the door behind her. <laughs> looks around. Unbelievable. I better, I better get back to move. <laughs> Flying the And she just makes her way into the oh. cockpit. Shuts the door. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. <laughs> Tom's Jesus really Christ. done. Tom's just no, now. I need to like cover was the screen where they are. It was the sorry yeah, bim exactly. that got me. Sorry, bim. Oh, can you turn their cameras off? <laughs> <laughs> Look at them. Trot, not much Look better. Trot's barely stopping himself from laughing <laughs> oh as well. Oh my god. <laughs> poor little guy. Twitch chat is going to be so annoyed at all of you. Yeah, and YouTube. <laughs> They were calling him the Red Smith. Nightjar's oh. furious. Nightjar is furious. Oh, this is like stupid brain. Furious when we kill an NPC. <laughs> we Cute didn't know. NPC. You didn't know. It's the oh, fact it's that it was like so, it looks such a serious moment as well. That just yeah. like, and then it's like just I should like... not be laughing at this. I can't find this funny. And then it just went. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your brain went bad. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, no. Don't... <laughs> no, it's not saying he bounced off the windshield as well. Oh, no. <laughs> no. 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 Uh, hang on, how's the, uh, how's the really sad bit installed here? Do, 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 do. <laughs> Do 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 and he's just like somersaulting through space. Yeah, he bounces off an asteroid. It's what he would have wanted. It's what he would have. It's not what he would have wanted. He wanted to live. Damn it! He wanted to live. He was going to show Nova his notebooks. Damn you all! Oh, love you, Ben. Oh man! I think it's because <laughs> you sorry. weren't. I think it's because you weren't making turns for Kyrie and Bim for a while that we just kind of. I forgot. Well, yeah, forgot. because with Bim, like, here's the meta game knowledge. If I had been like, "Oh, Bim's turn," let me just roll a d20. You would yeah. have been like, "Oh fuck, yeah. like, we got heal Bim," but like, you know, I described. No, him, but like, it hey, would have. It, it makes and... sense. It worked as it like, would have. It worked as it would have. We didn't yeah. know. Yeah. You didn't. You didn't I, check on I him until. Thought That's why he was I was just paralyzed. Saving. Like. Yeah. I yeah, and also with a line like, like yeah. he's still or whatever, like you would, yeah. yeah. I think given that Percentry was paralyzed. And I, I did say a few times afterwards, I was like, yeah, Bim's still not moving. Like, you know. You did, yeah. But you Nova's prioritized other stuff, which is fine. Fighting which fires, is absolutely so. what your characters would have done. Like, Quill was like, there's other things to worry about. Because um, he broke Sentry free, and then he was like, well, we've got to focus on other stuff. God, I'm just imagining all of our characters, like, it's it's Captain Salia standing there with, like, tears in her eyes, and behind her yeah. is all of us just laughing, like, or, like, trying not to laugh. Nova was up... <laughs> um, yeah, we Nova know that the characters were not doing that. I think the only I'm... character who could have even yeah. remotely laughed probably was Ayla, and even Ayla, yeah. I don't think, would laugh. I would not have laughed. I know, I that's what I'm saying. You're the only one who I could even potentially see laughing, but I don't yeah. think you would. Um, if it was an enemy. <laughs> Sentry certainly. I was laughing the in the turret laugh. when I was the doing stuff laugh. up. I, yeah. I'd laugh, but yeah, Sentry yeah. would Sentry, be like... Sentry would be sad. I was not laughing it's... at Bim, I was laughing at Tom's face. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here he is. It's been that kind of oh, week, man. hasn't it? Hasn't it, guys? It's been that kind Just of week. Just imagine him with, like, big, big nerd glasses. Like, just imagine him with big nerd glasses in front. There we go. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Off he well goes. Done. Off, Off he goes. goes. All right. Space. Da, 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 You're the best of us. Da. Salute. Anyway, <laughs> I've lost him. Just as a salute. Anyone watching or listening, this is a mind palace moment. Imagine this is way more dramatic <laughs> <laughs> and sad. Cut and the I think out of your mind. You know what? That's a great. That's a great point to end yeah. the show, even if it's a little cut, bit early. Yeah. Got end no this we got chaos. Yep. We got nowhere oh. from that. Oh my god! I have a headache. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. I shouldn't have found that funny. <laughs> no, honestly, though, it's been that kind of week, right? I think... Really sudden. Yeah. 
I think we're, we're all kind of at the so end of a long just, week. There's no way. <laughs> it's just like, we need a laugh. Jesus Christ, yeah. we need a laugh. Love you, Ben. Laugh at anything. Already. Yeah. Let's, yeah, yeah, sure. Rip uh, all right, okay. Rip, rip Any him. things to read out, chaps and chapesses? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, and yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, yep. here's the thing. If you guys carried things like, you know, diamonds for Raise Dead and Revivify, you could have you could have saved mm. him. Expensive, isn't it? Yeah. Well, she's already yeah. eaten a body out of the airlock, so. Oh yeah, it's too late now. Mm. She well, if you'd said like, whoa, 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 we can resurrect him, maybe she wouldn't have. But. Who knows resurrect? Quill, Quill, how's that? You've you've got third level cleric spells, right? Uh, wait, yeah. Do I have revivify? Yeah. So oh my god, that's really you important to know. That that's a that's a good thing to know about. Technically, so can Sentry. We uh, could have said we could bring him back if we get a diamond because I have gentle to... repose. Like... <laughs> it's got to be within a minute, though. It does have to be within a minute. Okay. Okay. Revivify does. Raise Dead is longer. Right. Also, it's a necromancy spell, and I don't want to learn any necromancy spells. Okay. Teach us no, but we'll she we'll no never have class. Raise Dead. Um, all right. I mean, if Revivify you want to retcon it and say powerful. you stopped Thalia before she threw his body out of the fucking airlock, nah, like you he's can, gone. You can wreck on it, but he's gone. Nah. Right. If anything, we helped her right. throw. Um, right. The, <laughs> wow. the Alex Crandall, uh, well, we already did that one. Uh, Natalie Hawthorne, the cult of Starbane is so last month. Now it's all about the cult of Vala, our new demigoddess will lead us to salvation and save us from both tyranny and obliv obli obli oblivion. Obliv Praxis Vala! I like that. Nice. Vala. I guess uh, it's Vala. <clears throat> uh, Jamie, as always, love the stream. Mark, I would love to see a bodega cameo. Maybe just a parked ship at a station has the words Disco Volante? Dun dun dun! Maybe. I can't say no. A little, a little Easter egg, perhaps, rather than a cameo. A little Easter very, egg. Very, very small Easter egg, yeah. Uh, we treat a very Scotsman. seriously, so we probably won't yeah, it's do a very serious, cameos. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus very serious. Christ. We don't like to ruin the themes of Aroas, um, so please, please, <laughs> please no. Uh, Flying Scotsman, the quarter hundo. You just, Love you yeah. guys. you got to respect the game. you got to respect yeah. Aroas and its emotional Please respect the law. Moment. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys so much. Have kept me laughing through the toughest times. Respect to Mark for making a D&D &D story with more interesting lore than most TV shows or movies. Uh, Rhiannon has the best laugh ever. E ever. Roll high. P.S. Thanks for being so cool at Yogcon. Well, thank you very much, Flying Scotsman, for the donation. Uh, Nightjar, just a little message of love for everyone watching and or listening. Given the state of literally everything at the moment, stay safe, keep others safe, however you're able, and be kind to yourself and to those around you. Absolutely. Um, He's not noticed. Sirocco. <laughs> I'm, I'm just ignoring it. Yeah. Uh, Sirocco with a quarter hundo. I've tried donating before, but hopefully this one gets through. Uh, yeah, we've changed the way we read them, so it might have been when uh, Streamlabs was messing up. So these ones should all get through now. Uh, thanks for all the years of entertainment, and especially now more than ever. I'm from Minnesota, where times are tough due to current events, but you guys never fail to make me smile. Thank you. Oh, boy. We well, we can friend. provide a little stay bit safe. of entertainment. Please stay yeah, safe. Stay safe. Yeah, stay safe. Morocco. Yeah. Seafox21. Seafox21. Greetings that, from sunny bad. Bedminster. I need to remember that that's got bad meaning. Uh, as I'm sure you've heard many times before, you've got me into playing, and I've recently started my pro uh, first proper game as a Bird Boy Rogue. Never stop being the best Ooh. D&D stream. Thank you very much. Man, Bird Boy Rogue. Flying. Knifing. Awesome. Downtown Alvi uh, finally was able to watch the stream and extra cash to donate. Thanks for y'all. Uh, you do from a uh, small town Kentucky guy. Much love. Small town Kentucky guy. Awesome. Thank you, downtown Alvi. Uh, Sasquatch086786. First time I have money to give during a stream. Also, it's just Sasquatch. Oh. I won't read out numbers next time then. Keep safe and well. Uh, that Norwegian guy, currently enjoying some good homemade non astral bow? B A O? Bow. Bow? Um, and Bucks. some even better astral action. <laughs> 
<laughs> thank you, that Norwegian guy. <laughs> Varys, thank you for your donation with no message. As always, thank you very much. Yorkshire Dave, after a six week He's literally binge, throwing um... dead NPCs around. <laughs> a respectful campaign. Very serious. After a six week binge watch, finally caught up and watching live. This is awesome. Ayla, what awesome shots. Those tentacles stand no yeah. chance. But Big Cat is stealing yeah. the limelight. What a fucking boss. P.S. Mark, thanks for the she tip. It's amazing. It's good shit. It's a good show. Uh, Kenku Noises with just over a quarter hundo. Space! I'm in space. New Alex. Uh, we are the uh, Ithalids. Ith Resistance is futile. Your brain matter will be extracted to serve us. No. Great to see. Oh, no, the rest of this message isn't in that voice, but I'm going to do it anyway. Great to see some combat-heavy episodes this week in both this and Strahd. And Mark, keep making those big cat noises. Totally, wow. I love them. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, Zeke640, uh, or Zeke, one and oh. two. Uh, Zeke's I'm uh, even... a band word. Mm. Oh. What? Yeah. Carry on. Okay. I'm even more excited this week for Nova in Idol Champions after seeing her kit announcement. Aww. I'm dying to see what her Eroes synergy abilities ends up being. They yeah. said they said <laughs> it was left out for now because it's related yeah. to to the campaign. Uh, super secret intel Kim gave them. Yeah, well, you'll see that very very soon. Ghost of Sprinkles, sup boys? Can't watch live due to college work, but will be part of the VOD squad ASAP. Don't die, please. Much love, y'all. Stay safe. Stay sane. And wash your damn hands, you nasties. Prince Cthulhu. Uh, Mark, I know Trot's class is based off of the Lightbringer series, but have you finished the series? No. What Short do you think answer. of it as a whole? Um, I like it. I love I'm Lucius. Sure. And, yeah, I love Lucius and his ability, so decided to read the books and just finish the series. Uh, very, very cool. Um, it was more Nightjar. inspired by, rather than directly based on. It was like, oh, that's a really cool idea, like magic and color and stuff, but um, Nightjar apparently did a poll on both channels, and it was unanimous that they're replacing me with my cats. I'd say I'm sorry, but they timed me out. So good riddance, Kappa. Yeah, I timed out Nightjar about halfway through the stream and had to remod her. <laughs> wow. For God's um, sake, why would you do that? I don't, don't know. Don't ever hurt Nightjar. She's the best of Ravager all of 4. us. Ravager 4. Oh, wait, shit, what? Got on to donate and saw a Beholder token, so I guess I have that to look forward to later when I watch the VOD. My poor heart. I don't know how much I can take after Curse of Strahd last week. Sure hope <clears> everyone <throat> made it out okay. Yeah, everyone did. Natalie Hawthorne. Yeah. Bim lived just long enough to kind of teach Nova how to be an astral ship engineer, and then got obliterated in the first fight. A true Obi-Wan type mentor. Uh, oh. Nick Gill. Oh god, Aww. when you do it like that, it's like a spider crawling across the screen. Yeah. Um, uh, Nick, <laughs> uh, Bill, uh, please wish back Bim. I'm going to be honest. A wish. Nope. If we all just Bim? pray and believe, Thoughts he'll and come prayers. back. Yeah. No, he won't. Yeah, that's, that's not how it works. No. Nope. If everyone sends their thoughts and prayers to Mark on Twitter, <laughs> um, Mark will ignore them. <laughs> Mark will ignore them. Mudkip. Uh, Tom, 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 it's your boy Mudkip. Hope you're doing well. Not like that impy boy getting yeeted off into space. <laughs> Part of me still resents you, Tom, but it's turning a new watery leaf. But if you piss off Mudkip, Quill will get yeeted into astral space. Astral space, sorry, they said here. Mudkip! Thank you, Mudkip. Uh, A.L. Wolf? Ale? 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 Um, I had visions of Bim being launched out of ship like Spock in a photon torpedo. Yeah, but then that's what I was you thinking. opened the airlock, being punted out of the door. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like data. Um, and finally, Darth Day 41 uh, with a donation and no message. Thank you very much. That's everyone. Uh, but I think Thanks, there everyone. might be some on Yogs. Uh, there is Perhaps. a single one on Yogs that I can read. A single one. Here we go. Ace of Thorns donated. It's Attack of the Squirmy Boys, starring those wacky sloths. Wacky. Wacky sloths. Wacky sloths. <laughs> That's it. Wacky. Very wacky today. Wacky, wacky sloth. Nice. Very, very yeah. wacky. Oh, boy. Oh, well, boy, howdy. What a treat. What, what a treat of a stream, everyone. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. Uh, 
Uh, one thing I wanted to mention, I know that we've got, uh, I think it's, is it Becky being hosted on After Us? But if you want more D&D stuff, um, Strippin and a bunch of other people are doing a D&D show over on their friend Joe Fudge's Ooh. channel. And I did say that I'd give them a little shout out at the end of the stream. Uh, it's twitch.tv forward slash Joe Fudge, Strippin, Dodge, I think a bunch of people in a new uh, cool D&D homebrew Twitch stream. So go and check that out if you want to watch more cool. D&D stuff. Um, and apart from that, we love you. Please stay safe. Please look yep. after everybody. Have compassion, um, but also, you know, make the world a better place. Yes. So we will see you next time. Uh, we'll be back for Stroud on Thursday. Until then, we love you. Take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.